What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 7SG, Chapter 96 I came here under the king's order to declare war with you. Interesting for you, the 7 most famous plus size models in the world. More, 688, 172, 229, Iron Country, Conference Building. Just after the roof was repaired, it welcomed its guests again. Mafune prayed silently in his heart that no more accidents would happen this time. Fortunately, this time it was just a meeting between the three shadows, and the three of them seemed to be discussing very harmoniously. There shouldn't be any more problems, right? Meeting room. Two scales Onoki and the three discussed various matters needing attention regarding the Ninja Alliance. Now that the proposal of the Ninja Alliance has been approved, then it's time to add details. The first question is, who should lead this Ninja Alliance? Two scales Onoki, third case cage and Serutobi Hiruzen looked at each other. They can all see the determination in the other person's eyes. After all, who doesn't want to be the boss? Even if this ninja alliance is established, they must have a distinction between high and low. The three major ninja villages refused to give in to each other. In the end, we could only come up with a fairer solution. Take turns taking control. The first starting order will then be determined by drawing lots. As for some other small shinobi villages, although the three of them want to bring other small ninja villages into the ninja world alliance community. But I never said that I would give them the same rights as the three major ninja villages. In their view, it is their honor to allow these small ninja villages to join the Ninja World Alliance community. Under normal circumstances, these ninja villages have no chance of forming an alliance with the three major ninja villages. The first problem is solved, and then the purpose of establishing the ninja alliance is reached. The country of Whirlpool and the Void, gathering the power of the entire human world and the nine-tailed beasts. To frighten the kingdom of Whirlpool, and at the same time look for ways to weaken the kingdom of Whirlpool. After all, the power shown by the kingdom of Whirlpool put too much pressure on them. Then there was the establishment of the, 160, Ninja Coalition. Looking for the strength named Hollow hidden under the Ninja world. This kind of powerful organization that is a potential threat to others must be sent out as soon as possible. They don't want to be trapped in a virtual battle like the Kingdom of Thunder one day. We must work together to eliminate the void. After determining the two important directions, the rest are small details. For example, how to weaken the Kingdom of Whirlpool. In what way will it be weakened? Military. Economic. There is also the funding, quantity, etc. of the Ninja Alliance army. But what worries Onoki the most is Konoha's Nine Tails. After all, Nine Tails is the real trump card of the Ninja Alliance. Although they are both tailed beasts, Five Tails and other tailed beasts are obviously on different levels of existence. Onoki, the two-person scale, asked, Can Konoha's Nine Tails Jinchuriki be at your disposal at any time? He also knows the current identity of Nine Tails Jinchuriki. The wife of the first Hokage, this status is not generally lofty in Konoha. If she doesn't want to, no one can tell her. And he was also a little worried. Although based on basic information, the country of Uzumaki and Konoha are completely at odds, and they seem to have severed ties with Uzumaki Mito. But what flows in Uzumaki Mito's body is the blood of the Uzumaki clan after all. If the Nine Tails Jinchuriki defected before the battle, there would be no need for their ninja alliance to exist at all. So this matter must be determined. Serutobi Hiruzen hesitated for a moment and said, if it is aimed at the country of Uzumaki, Mito Tenjin may not agree. If the current owner of the Whirlpool country is not the Uzumaki clan, then there will definitely be no problem for Uzumaki Mito to take action. But they all know now that the master of the Uzumaki country is Uzumaki Chihiro, the successor of the Uzumaki country. Not to mention his orthodox identity, the same blood as Uzumaki Mito still flows in his body. Just because Uzumaki Mito felt guilty for not helping the country when the country of Whirlpool was destroyed last time, it was impossible for her to take action against the country of Whirlpool. The two-person scales Onoki frowned when he heard this. That would be troublesome. Third case cage analyzed. Nine Tails Jinchuriki does not necessarily need to take action, as long as she recognizes the Ninja Alliance and can become a powerful combat power to deter the country of Whirlpool. Shock. Onoki and Serutobi Hiruzen, the two-person scales, look strange. Is it really shocking? Unlike last time in Konoha, Nine Tails Jinchuriki was still there, and they still dared to go to Konoha and cause trouble. But gathering all the tailed beasts this time may have a different effect. The master of the Whirlpool country cannot be so arrogant as to fight against the entire ninja world on his own, right? Onoki and Serutobi Hiruzen nodded, acquiescing to the idea of third case cage. What about Shu's side? Onoki, the two-person scale, asked again. It's not just the Whirlpool Kingdom that needs tailed beasts. The virtual side also needs it. After all, that organization is suspected of having ten humanoid monsters that can wrestle with tailed beasts. This time Serutobi Hiruzen did not hesitate and said, this Mito-sama should be fine. Just when their discussions were in full swing. In the conference room, a corner that no one cares about. A black and white pitcher plant creature was quietly eavesdropping on the content of the Three Shadows meeting. When he heard something, he would nod from time to time, as if he was thinking about something. This person is the one who came to inquire about information. The public execution of Third Rakage by the Kingdom of Whirlpool caused a stir in the entire ninja world. 
They even created a projection screen to let the entire ninja world get to know the kingdom of Whirlpool again. Although Ju was not found by the projection hell butterfly because he hid his aura. But he still saw the strength of the Uzumaki country from Uchiha Fugaku. It can only be said that Chiangtian has reached a level beyond his imagination. Whether it's Kamashini no Yari, which can directly dissolve the immortal body. Or Soda no Shirayuki who freezes everything, even the tailed beasts. They all gave him a great shock. In contrast, Shihuan Yorichi's thunder god battle form did not make Zetsu feel outstanding. After all, her opponent is just a guy who has not yet succeeded Rakage. But just the expressiveness of the first two people is enough. He has been struggling for thousands of years, but he has never seen a power system like the country of Whirlpool in the ninja world. It just came out of nowhere. This made him even more convinced that the kingdom of Whirlpool must be caused by one of those two unfilial sons. And with the Uzumaki country having such strength, how could they dare to rashly take Uzumaki Nagato away from the Uzumaki country? We must find a way to cause chaos in the kingdom of Whirlpool. So after learning that the three shadows were going to continue the talks, Ju rushed over directly. I want to see their actions. And there was one more thing that gave him a headache. That means four tails is dead. He didn't know if the lack of a tailed beast would have any impact on his plan. Can ten tails be resurrected? Can I of the moon's plan still succeed? It's all about his mother, Otsutsuki Kegaya's seal being lifted. Of course, he can also wait until four tails is resurrected fifty years later. However, he couldn't wait any longer. The changes in the kingdom of Whirlpool gave him a great sense of urgency. They were always in a tense state, wondering if Otsutsuki Hamura and Otsutsuki Hagoromo had discovered something. So, immediately, immediately. We must start executing Project Tsuki no Mi, otherwise things will change later. But this time the Three Shadows talk allowed him to see an opportunity. The tailed beasts have gathered together under some kind of coincidence. Maybe he can use the Ninja Alliance to successfully resurrect Ten Tails. According to his previous thoughts, if you want to resurrect Ten Tails, I'm afraid a war will break out with the Ninja world. After all, their plan was to capture the tailed beast. But now there is a giant in the Ninja world that they all have to fight against together. Maybe he can use a positive identity to trick them into resurrecting Ten Tails. When the time comes, resurrect Uchiha Madara, take back Rinnegan, become Ten Tails Jinchuriki, and open the Eye of the Moon. In this way, the mother can be successfully released. A new plan took shape in his mind. But this requires a complete war between the Ninja Alliance and the Kingdom of Whirlpool. Moreover, the strength of the Kingdom of Whirlpool must be stronger than that of the Ninja Alliance, so that Zetsu can take advantage of the opportunity to enter and trick them into resurrecting Ten Tails. After the war breaks out between the Ninja Alliance and the country of Uzumaki, Zetsu can take the opportunity to sneak into the country of Uzumaki and take Uzumaki Nagato away. How to guide the war between the Ninja Alliance and the Kingdom of Whirlpool? Just as he was thinking hard, a terrifying pressure suddenly came from above the Iron Kingdom building. The astonishing momentum made everyone present feel tense. The terrifying pressure made their bodies become heavy. The two-person scales Onoki's eyes widened and he quickly formed seals with his hands. Earth-style light heavy rock technique. As soon as the words fell, everyone's bodies relaxed. Onogi, who had two scales, raised his head and shouted, Who is it? Boom. The words just fell. A stream of green light came in like a shooting star. Irido Mifune stared at the broken roof of the building, the corner of his mouth couldn't help but twitch, and the sadness in his heart flowed back into the river. But at this time, it was clear that no one cared about his feelings. Two scales Onoki and others all stared at the green figure. His eyes were full of vigilance. Before anyone could see them, they were given a slap on the wrist, which was the same way of appearing. It doesn't take much thinking to know that the person coming is destined to be evil. Onoki, the two-person scale, narrowed his eyes slightly and said coldly, Who is it? He actually ran up to us and acted wild. A mere person dared to break into the meeting place of the three shadows alone. The guy in front of me really doesn't know whether he is ignorant or fearless or he is confident in his own strength. He thinks that the three of them are no match for him. Tisk. Third case cage smacked his mouth in displeasure. Since when has the place where the three shadows are meeting become a place where clowns dare to break in? Could it be that the public execution of rakage in the land of Uzumaki made people in the ninja world mistakenly think that they are all paper tigers? Third case cage looked coldly and humped. No need to talk nonsense with him. Since he is an intruder, he should be prepared to die. Satetsu Shigur. The words fell. Black sand and iron suddenly poured out in front of third case cage. After he formed the seal, the black sand iron quickly turned into tiny flying stones and shot toward the green figure at extremely high speed. The green figure seemed not to notice the danger, with its back turned to them, standing motionless in place. Third case cage snorted coldly and already sentenced him to death in his heart. Clang. The iron sand Shigur hit him mercilessly, making a crisp and harsh sound. Um. Third case cage let out a sigh and frowned, feeling that something was not quite right. Does this sound sound a little wrong? Wow. At this moment, the green figure finally turned around and stared at them with cold eyes. With such a movement, all the dense sand and iron on his body fell to the ground with a crash. What? Third case cage's eyes suddenly widened and he exclaimed. Sand iron Shigur. It didn't penetrate him. Not even a trace was left. What kind of terrifying physical strength is this? No wonder it made that sound just now. At this moment, he recalled where he had heard this voice. 
That is the sound that is made when steel is beaten. Is this guy's body harder than steel? The eyes of two scales Onoki and Serutobi Hiruzen also opened wide. It seems really surprising that third case cage lost. They also know the strength of third case cage very well. Especially with his superb magnet style, he is invincible on the battlefield. Known as the strongest case cage in the history of Sunagakar. This strongest case cage is different from the self-proclaimed one of Serutobi Hiruzen. The third case cage's strength is not only unanimously recognized by the village, but also has been tested by war. The strongest wind shadow, worthy of the name. But it's such a character, such a powerful magnet style. Even if the third case cage is not serious, it is impossible for nothing to happen if the sand and iron hit someone. In fact, the sand iron of the third case cage did not even break through the skin. Who is this guy? Third case cage's move made everyone understand that this guy who suddenly broke into the meeting place of the three shadows was definitely not a fool or an ordinary person. In this case, the purpose of this guy coming here is very intriguing. 5.2 They squinted their eyes slightly and observed carefully. It was only then that they were shocked to find that the guy in front of them was dressed completely differently from ordinary people. Pale complexion and green eyes. There are dark green lines on the face similar to tear stains. What caught their attention the most was the helmet-like mask with horns on the left half of the head. This strange yet familiar look reminded them subconsciously of the video third rakage had shown them. The humanoid figures inside also have similar bone masks. Void. Two scales Onoki. Third case cage and Serutobi Hiruzen shouted out almost at the same time. Even Ju, who was observing secretly, was stunned for a moment and looked at it carefully. This guy, is Shu. Although he knew that a creature named Hollow appeared in the ninja world, he had never investigated it. This kind of creature may be a disaster for the ninja world, but as long as it doesn't affect his plan, he never cares. Unless, this virtual can bring him any benefits. Serutobi Hiruzen said solemnly, or should I call you a spada? He still clearly remembered the only bit of information Kiraku Shunsui revealed during the Five Shadows meeting. This kind of humanoid hollow is most likely a spada, right? But I can't be sure. There are also some other humanoids in the Kingdom of Thunder, but their numbers are very low. Only the top ten virtual beings can be called a spada. Since this guy dared to appear in front of their three shadows so openly. No matter how you think about it, the strength shouldn't be too weak. At this moment, the guy in front of me finally said. The fourth blade of the Arankar Legion, Ulkiora, comes under the king's command to declare war on you. Chapter 97 Ulkiora. You are too weak to die by my sword. Interesting for you. The seven most famous plus-size models in the world. More. 177. 44. 59. The fourth blade of the Arankar Legion, Ulkiora, comes under the king's command to declare war on you. After Ulkiora finished speaking, the entire conference room suddenly fell into silence. After a while, Serutobi Hiruzen said in disbelief, Declaration of War. Did he hear it correctly? A phantom suddenly breaks in and declares war on them. This doesn't make sense. Question mark exclamation mark. What's the reason for the war? Without any reason, just declare war. Is this Shu, or their king, too willful? Even two scales Onoki and third case cage were a little confused. They had just formed the ninja alliance and were discussing how to find Shu's base camp and capture them in one fell swoop. Suddenly broke in with a spada and declared war on them. If they hadn't been discussing it, they would have suspected that there would be a spy in the newly established ninja alliance right away. If Ulkiora waits for them to break up before declaring war, this newly formed ninja alliance may have collapsed. On the side, Ju Zuo, who was hiding in a dark corner, was stunned. Also shocked by Ulkiora's inexplicable declaration of war. Is this virtual too crazy? Actually openly going to war with the entire ninja world. Although there are only three shadows of Iwagakar, Sunagakar and Konoha standing here. But in this era when the kingdom of water is destroyed and the shadow of the kingdom of thunder dies. These three cage are enough to represent the entire ninja world. As long as they give the order and form an alliance for the entire ninja world, I believe that no country will deny them face. Of course, except for the kingdom of Whirlpool. After all, the kingdom of Whirlpool has never given anyone face since it was rebuilt. But in addition to the kingdom of Whirlpool, the power of the entire ninja world is gathered together, and it is not something that your organization can defeat. The leader of the void. Are your brains showing off? Of course, even if Shu Biu declares war with the ninja world, the ninja world can no longer tolerate them. Are you discussing how to eliminate hollows without looking at the newly established ninja alliance? Perhaps, is it because the leader of the Virtual 23 knew the current situation that he did not choose to sit still and wait for death? Instead, he decided to bring this matter to light and have a head-on confrontation with the power of the ninja world. Hiss. I have to say, this virtual leader is really courageous. Of course, if the legendary virtual organization has ten guys who can rival tailed beasts, then. Maybe this imaginary organization really has the strength to compete with the ninja world. Onoki, the two-person scale, frowned and said, are you sure you're not joking? Ulkiora's expression was cold and her voice did not fluctuate as she said, I have no interest in joking with you. His eyes were wandering, and everyone couldn't help but feel a chill in their hearts when they saw his seemingly lifeless green eyes. Ulkiora's eyes were fixed on the two people on the two scales and Onoki, and he said, aren't you looking for us again? Now we are here. The two-person scales Onoki's pupils shrank suddenly. 
Bin noticed. He couldn't help but glance at third case cage and Serutobi Hirazan. There are only two possibilities if the news is exposed. First, the contents of the meeting were leaked. The second is that they were discovered when they were looking for Shu's base. Since the last reminder from Kiraku Shunsui, although they did not give up the idea of wiping out the Shu, they also understood that if they did not find the Shu's base, it would be impossible to wipe out all the Shu. Therefore, they were not idle during this period, and sent out several ninja teams to follow the Hollows to see where they came from and where they were going. If this alarmed them, he had nothing to say. But it doesn't matter. After originally deciding to form a ninja coalition, they would first eliminate these voids on a small scale and secretly weaken their power. But now that it has been discovered, it should be brought to the surface. Even if the losses will be much greater, all the virtual ones must be annihilated at once. Snort. Third case cage snorted coldly, feeling very unhappy with Ukiora's careless expression. How arrogant, do you think you can defeat us? Ukiora looked at him, without any trace of emotion in her eyes, and said calmly, human beings are indeed strange creatures. We obviously followed your wishes and came to you. Why are you still angry? You. Third case cage's eyes widened and he was about to take action angrily. But he was stopped early by Serutobi Hirazan. Serutobi Hirazan squinted. I quickly captured the amount of information in this sentence. You humans. In other words, although these humanoids look no different from humans, they are not human beings. TB. Although he has some human appearance and intelligence, he cannot understand emotions. You guy, don't you have a heart? Serutobi Hirazan's words successfully attracted Ukiora's attention. He suddenly used the ring. The whole person suddenly disappeared. When he reappeared, he was already in front of Serutobi Hirazan. So fast. Serutobi Hirazan's eyes suddenly opened, he was startled, and a few drops of cold sweat suddenly flowed from his forehead. Before he could react, a finger with black nails touched his chest. Are you talking about your heart? You humans always put this word on your lips easily, as if you know other people's thoughts well. An imperceptible light flashed in Ukiora's eyes, and she continued. My eyes can reflect everything. There is nothing that I cannot capture. Anything that cannot be reflected means that it does not exist. I have concluded this and have been fighting based on this until now. What is the heart? Ukiora's tone was cold. As long as I tear your chest apart, can I see everything in your heart? He gently tapped Serutobi Hirazan's chest, and an illusion of his chest being torn suddenly came into Serutobi Hirazan's mind. If I crack your skull, can I see everything in your head? Ukiora put his hand on Serutobi Hirazan again, as if he was about to smash his head to pieces in the next moment. Hokage. Two scales Onoki and third case cage saw Serutobi Hirazan stunned and couldn't help but remind him. At this moment, Ukiora unexpectedly put away his hand and said calmly, Don't worry, I didn't mean to kill him. The king said that this is not the stage for your death. Ukiora put his hands in his pockets, and the space behind him was suddenly torn apart. The pupils of Onoki and the others, who had two scales, shrank. Recognize this is the technique of these espadas to travel through space. I couldn't help but feel shocked. Is it possible that each of these guys has a space-time ninjutsu? Ukiora's eyes were cold and she gave them an ultimatum. Five days later, Hueko Mundo will launch a general attack on the ninja world, and that will be the stage where you end. In five days, I hope you are ready to die. This tone of contempt for everything is really infuriating. Third case cage could no longer control the anger in his heart and form seals with his hands. Magnet style sand iron not attack. Russell, a large amount of black sand iron appeared around third case cage, quickly converging into a huge sand iron cone, pointing directly at Ukiora. At the third case cage's command, he swooped down towards Ukiora. Ukiora glanced at him lightly and stretched out her hand calmly. Third case cage was shocked. Does he want to? How is it possible? No one. Boom. The sand iron cone that was hit hard was held in his hand. No matter how powerful the sand iron cone is, it can't move forward at all. Onoki and Serutobi Hirazan, both of whom were on the scale, stared wide-eyed. This is magnet style, it's a blow from the strongest case cage. And this attack was obviously much more serious than the last time Sunatetsu Shigur. But Wukiora held it in one hand. How terrifying is this power? Third case cage opened his mouth and his eyes were slightly stunned. How can it be? His sand iron cone was blocked by him so easily. Use one hand. Wukiora didn't care about their mood and pressed her palm hard. With a bang, the sand iron cone formed by sand iron suddenly turned into a plate of black sand and fell to the ground. Wukiora said calmly. You are so weak, you don't deserve to die by my sword. Damn it, I'm Case Cage. Third Case Cage was about to continue his attack, but was stopped by two scales Onoki. Advised. Fungying, the enemy has insufficient intelligence, we'd better not act rashly first. Third Case Cage gritted his teeth and clicked his tongue in displeasure. But I also understand that the overall situation is more important. Wukiora was gradually swallowed by the torn space behind her. Before his figure disappeared completely, he said, a magnificent performance naturally requires a good opening ceremony. Quote dot dot dot. Just the kingdom of thunder. As soon as the words fell, Wukiora completely disappeared. Opening ceremony. The kingdom of thunder. What does he mean? The two-person scales Onoki suddenly reacted and said immediately. Lois, quickly go and inform the kingdom of thunder that Shu is going to launch a general attack on them. Yes, etc. Two scales Onoki stopped Huang Tu as he was about to leave, and ordered. 
If the Kingdom of Thunder can't bear it anymore, then leave them alone, but eight tails must stay. Yes. Staring at Huang Tu's back, two scales Onoki's eyes flickered slightly. The Ninja Alliance can be without the Kingdom of Thunder, but it cannot be without the power of eight tails. Wait until the Lois leaves. The three of them urgently discussed the matter of the Ninja Alliance. It didn't need to be so urgent. But since Ulkiora came to declare war and only had five days, they had to hurry up. Try to summon the power of the entire ninja world within five days. Build a huge force, and the appearance of Ulkiora also made them realize the power of Espada again. Receive the sand iron cone of the third case cage with your bare hands. Among the three of them, no one can do it. Even third case cage himself is not good at his sand cone. However, Ulkiora took it abruptly, seemingly effortlessly. Even if it was one tail Shukaku, if he took this move, he would still make a big hole. Although it will be offset by one tail Shukaku's sand transformation, this is completely different from Ulkiora crushing a sand iron cone with her bare hands. As expected of the standard tailed beast's espada. And, the fourth blade already has such terrifying combat performance. So how powerful should the third blade, the second blade or even the first blade in front of him be? The power to unite the entire ninja world is indeed true. It is impossible to defeat this kind of monster with just the power of a ninja village. Complete program. After seeing the whole process, I fell into deep thought. This hollow called Espada is indeed strong enough. How dare you speak nonsense in front of three shadows alone. However, if your ninja coalition is dealing with the hollows, who will deal with the kingdom of Whirlpool? Z was dumbfounded. If the country of Uzumaki is not in chaos, how can he bring Uzumaki Nagato out? Tisk. Trouble. What a hassle. But the good news is that although the opponent is not the kingdom of Whirlpool, the ninja alliance has finally been established and has a powerful opponent. Just wait for them to gather all the tailed beasts, and then he will trick him into resurrecting Ganway. In short, let's go back and report the information here and his plan first. After one day, a big event caused a sensation in the entire ninja world. Konoha and Sunagakar have a truce. The ninja world finally has peace again. I don't even know why, but Konoha and Sunagakar, who had just had a war, signed an alliance contract regardless of their past grudges. It simply stunned the people of the ninja world. Dot 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 dot. 540 is an enemy one second, and a good brother the next. What shocked them even more was that a third party, Iwagakar, also got involved. What the hell is this? Has complete peace been achieved in the ninja world? The most confusing thing is Jiraiya who just came back from a trip to Mount Myoboku. Why did the war end after we traveled far away? He clicked his tongue and looked helpless. He knew that going to Mount Myoboku would definitely take him a few days. Great Toad Sage's schedule is so irregular. And he also gave an inexplicable prophecy. The man who dominates the world and brings destruction and hope. What's the meaning? In other words, the destruction of the ninja world and the giving of hope to the ninja world are all within the thought of this master. So, the great toad sage wants him to stop the person in the prophecy. Is it a little too high of a view of him? Or does it mean something else? Tisk. Great toad sage doesn't understand anything he says, he hates riddle toads the most. Put this inexplicable prophecy behind you for now. Jiraiya felt relaxed looking at the ninja troops that had retreated. Anyway, the war is finally over. And they also signed an alliance agreement inexplicably. Is it peaceful like this? So can he finally go out to collect materials? Not only Jiraiya, but also the people of Sunagakar and Konoha were filled with joy that the war was over. Longing for home was on his face. But in this joyful atmosphere. A bad news spread throughout the ninja world. The Hollow, who had been active in the ninja world for half a year and harassed them from time to time, declared war on the entire ninja world. Yes, that's right, it's the cannibal Hollow who has declared war on the ninja world. Only then did they realize that these virtual forces were organized and disciplined. And these man-eating monsters are actually gathering together to attack nin -si. For a time, the entire ninja world was in panic. Especially those who had witnessed Xu Sheng cannibalizing people, their hearts were filled with unspeakable fear. After Jiraiya learned the news, he also fell silent. Good news, the second ninja war is over. Bad news, the second ninja war has just ended and the third ninja war has begun. He clicked his tongue in displeasure. It seems that the trip to collect materials will be delayed for a while. His eyes became determined. This time, it is not a war between countries. It's a war about the life and death of the ninja world. At the same time, he also understood why several great ninja villages suddenly looked like good brothers. Because the ninja world has a stronger and more evil enemy. Only then did all the countries in the ninja world put aside their old grudges and start working together. Due to external pressure, there is only temporary peace. The country of Whirlpool, Guan Lingting. Uzumaki Chihiro stared at the skyrocketing reputation value again and smiled happily. What he wants is this effect. Chapter 98 The reputation value has skyrocketed, and the kingdom of Whirlpool still lacks a captain. The kingdom of Whirlpool, Jingalingting. The joy in Uzumaki Chihiro's eyes almost overflowed. Let Ulkiora, as Hueko Mundo, declare war at the Three Shadows Conference, which is the task he gave Ulkiora. It can be regarded as a tribute to Uchiha Obito. Of course, Uzumaki Chihiro doesn't do it just for fun. The kingdom of Whirlpool just used the public execution of Rakage to gain a wave of reputation points. Most people in the ninja world have entered a period of fatigue with the improvement of the reputation of the country of Whirlpool. 
Uzumaki Chihiro had no choice but to let Wukiora go to work. When it comes to the five cage talks, Uzumaki Chihiro naturally thinks of the famous scene before the start of the fourth ninja war. So I decisively committed a wave of plagiarism. All I can say is that the effect is very good. The reputation value keeps rising. Uzumaki Chihiro felt that he would wait until the fifth day before the war started completely. The skyrocketing reputation should be enough for him to recruit the remaining Espada. It also happened to make up for the number of strong men in the Hueco Mundo camp. Espada has now recruited five of them. If it were just these five, it might be a bit too reckless to face the entire ninja world. But this wave of high-profile declarations of war and the skyrocketing reputation are enough to make up for the other Espadas. I believe that with Espada's strength, coupled with the hollows that have been kept in captivity for the past six months, it is more than enough to deal with the ninja coalition. Unless something happens to the ninja alliance. However, Uzumaki Chihiro is also looking forward to something unexpected happening. The more chaotic the situation, the faster his reputation will skyrocket. He didn't believe that the changes in the ninja alliance could be as fast as his recruitment of troops. This time the reputation value will not increase after the increase in the five days before the start of the war. As long as the war continues, the ninjas participating in the war will continue to provide him with reputation points. If something happens that Espada can't handle, Uzumaki can definitely recruit Aizen Sosuke, the master of Hueco Mundo. Become the last big boss of Hueco Mundo, Uzumaki Chihiro took a deep breath. As long as the third ninja war is conducted well, some very powerful people should be able to be recruited. For example, his Serite still lacks a captain who can coordinate the overall situation. Yamamoto Genryu Sai, this one is definitely a heavyweight. Uzumaki Chihiro guesses that the reputation required to recruit him is definitely not low. Not only him, but even Aizen Sosuke may not be cheap. Moreover, Aizen Sosuke is divided into stages. I don't know what stage of Aizen Sosuke can be recruited with a capped reputation value of 1 million. But Uzumaki Chihiro is not worried either. A unit like this can definitely be upgraded with reputation points. For example, Rukia Kuchiki, who was recruited as vice captain for the first time, has now been promoted to captain level strength by him using his reputation points. As long as the potential conditions of the arms are sufficient, they can be improved with reputation points. I mentally calculated the future recruitment policy for the military units. Uzumaki Chihiro picked up the recent Rukongai observation report. Huh. Four Tails Jinchuriki. Uzumaki Chihiro was slightly surprised, and then checked his information carefully. Then he shook his head in disappointment. Although Four Tails Jinchuriki was successfully attracted by Rukongai. But there is obviously no trace of Four Tails in his body. Uzumaki Chihiro thought for a moment and thought that this was because there was no real reason for the death of Four Tails. Therefore, only the really dead Lao Zi came to Rukongai. However, although Lao Zi no longer has Four Tails in his body, he is still considered a talent. Not a loss either. As for the others, they are some unknown ninjas. There were none of the names he wanted to see. Third Rakage, I, Explosion Style Hunt, Earth Platform. None of these supporting characters, who were too colorful in the original work or appeared once or twice, were attracted by Rukongai. I don't know if it's because he has too much resentment towards the Kingdom of Whirlpool. Even if Rukongai had a 50% probability, he still couldn't win them down. He looked over at Hueco Mundo again. But there was an unexpected surprise. Explosion Style Hunter successfully transformed into Hollow. Then there is no more. The others probably went to the Pure Land. Uzumaki Chihiro thought slightly, now that Uchiha Madara is not dead yet, we don't know whether his soul will go to the Pure Land world after his death or be attracted to Rukongai. Hiss. It would be interesting if Uchiha Madara was attracted by Rukongai and became the Shinigami of the Land of Whirlpool. But, will the Sage of Six Paths, who is hidden in the Pure Land world, watch helplessly as his son's reincarnation, Chakra's soul, is intercepted by the Kingdom of Whirlpool? The Land of Earth. Under the Dark Cave, the old Uchiha Madara has tubes extending from Ten Tails' body inserted behind her to maintain her vitality. Opening a pair of three Tomo Sharingan, he looked at the fellow tribesmen in front of him. Uchiha Fugaku is also looking at this white-haired, aging Uchiha Madara. The shock in his eyes could not be concealed. It turned out to be Uchiha Madara. His heart accelerated rapidly, swallowing nervously, I even felt that my heart almost jumped out of my throat at a certain moment. Even though the Uchiha Madara in front of him was old, the aura of calmness and self-restraint in his body still made him a little frightened. Uchiha Madara, is really not dead. In the battle in the Valley of the End, everyone thought it was the victory of the first Hokage. Because only the first Hokage came back alive. So people subconsciously think that Uchiha Madara should be dead. So far I have never doubted it. Until today I saw with my own eyes Uchiha Madara sitting here. Uchiha Fugaku then realized they were wrong. Everyone is wrong. Not only did Uchiha Madara survive, she is even alive to this day. I just don't know why I haven't seen him active in the ninja world even though he is alive. Are you even hiding in this dark cave? But after looking at Uchiha Madara's current state, he understood. Even if Uchiha Madara is not dead, I'm afraid he is just surviving. Otherwise, how could the once high-spirited Uchiha clan leader be like this? Dot dot dot. Can Uchiha Madara like this really help him regain Makoto from the kingdom of Uzumaki? Uchiha Fugaku subconsciously looked at the pipe behind Uchiha Madara. It can be clearly seen that Uchiha Madara is still alive today solely because of the giant statue behind him that keeps him alive. 
It seems that he sensed the suspicion in Uchiha Fugaku's heart. Three Tomo Sharingan by Uchiha Madara. In an instant, a strong sense of suffocation enveloped Uchiha Fugaku. A Mangekio Sharingan and an eternal Mangekio Sharingan were subconsciously forced out. The eye power of three Tomo Sharingan collides with that of Mangekio Sharingan and even eternal Mangekio Sharingan. Uchiha Fugaku only felt a pain in Mangekio Sharingan, and a drop of blood and tears fell down his cheek. Tongshu Suzanmingzen saw countless possibilities for the future in an instant. But no matter which one, it will end with his death. Suddenly, rows of sweat beads appeared densely on Uchiha Fugaku's forehead. Not daring to make any move at all, I was shocked and speechless. The eye power of his Mangekio Sharingan is actually no match for three Tomo Sharingan. There was a grunt, Uchiha Fugaku swallowed, I was so panicked. As expected, he is the most talented and dazzling figure in the Uchiha clan. As expected of the man who made Uchiha's name spread throughout the ninja world. As expected of the famous ninja Shira in the ninja world. As expected, the man who suppressed an era with first Hokage Senju Hashirama. This is the strongest leader of their Uchiha clan. Even if you are old and frail, even if you only have a pair of three Tomo Sharingan. The awakened Mangekyo, even with an eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, is invincible. There is only one word to describe the Uchiha Madara in front of me. Fear. HMPH. Uchiha Madara snorted coldly and withdrew the power in the Sharingan. Uchiha Fugaku suddenly relaxed, the sweat on his body had completely soaked his clothes. Now, he no longer dared to doubt the strength of the legendary figure in front of him. A trace of pride flashed in Uchiha Madara's eyes, and then she said, The talent is good, I have awakened Mangekyo Sharingan at this age, and also awakened an eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. Uchiha Fugaku was flattered, but Uchiha Madara also knows. Uchiha, who awakened the Mangekyo Sharingan, must have experienced something very bad and experienced an outburst of negative emotions to become like this. After all, Sharingan is a pair of cursed eyes. Only when you lose the one you love can you move forward. In a daze, he seemed to see his brothers who had died on the battlefield. And Izuna who gave him the Mangekyo Sharingan. Uchiha Madara showed a hint of complicated emotions, and then disappeared quickly. He strengthened his inner thoughts. Project Tasuki no Mi. Hashirama, I will prove to you that I am right. He set his sights on Uchiha Fugaku again. At this age, awakening Mangekyo, quietly is the best time to take control. Young people are most likely to be trapped by love. The symptoms of the Uchiha clan are more severe than those of ordinary people. Therefore, his search for the person to implement the plan has always been on Uchiha. Obviously, he was very satisfied with the people Black Zetsu brought back to him this time. Now that the candidate has been selected, the planning should begin. Next, Uchiha Madara revealed part of his plan to Uchiha Fugaku. Uchiha Fugaku the character who opened Mangekyo is still alive after all. Telling him Project Tasuki no Mi is tantamount to playing the piano to an ox. Might as well draw a pie for him. For example, just resurrect his youthful self and regain Uchiha Makoto. That's nothing. For a time, Uchiha Madara began to pua for the first time against Uchiha Fugaku in the cave. Uchiha Fugaku's eyes are getting brighter and brighter. The old and frail Uchiha Madara can put so much pressure on him. If it were Uchiha Madara in his youth, wouldn't he be able to suppress the ninja world again? Of course, Uchiha Fugaku is not stupid, it is impossible for Uchiha Madara to say what he said. He also has his own thoughts. Therefore, this pua will be a relatively protracted war. Black Zetsu stared at Uchiha Madara and Uchiha Fugaku, thoughtfully. There was some worry in my heart. He was thinking, if Uchiha Madara dies, will his soul also go to that damn whirlpool country? Ever since he learned Rukongai's secret, he had been worried about this position. If Uchiha Madara's soul went to Rukongai, it would be considered a different kind of resurrection. But, after going to Rukongai, Uchiha Madara forgot what happened during his lifetime. How will Project Tasuki no Mi be implemented? So, Uchiha Madara cannot travel to Rukongai. Or, after going to Rukongai, will Rinnegan's Rinne Tensai technique still be of use to him? Well, I have a headache, it has been a thousand years, and hope has finally come to light, but suddenly so many changes have occurred. The kingdom of Whirlpool, Black Zetsu gritted his teeth secretly. Now I can only gamble. Bet Uchiha Madara won't go to Rukongai. Because there is nothing he can do to stop the soul from going to Rukongai. I can only pray silently in my heart. Fire Nation, sleepy and vomiting. The formation of the ninja coalition naturally requires nine tails as the main force. Uzumaki Mito is completely different from what he was when he was young. Except for the face, it's still the same face. The hair is much whiter. Today, Senju is really all alone. Nawaki is gone, and so is Tsunade. She was the only old woman left. Coupled with what happened in the Whirlpool Kingdom before, she was exhausted. Sarutobi Hiruzen hesitated for a moment, but still talked about the changes in the ninja world. And the upcoming third ninja war, Nuo no Jao. Uzumaki Mito's heart is like Shisui. Listening to Sarutobi Hiruzen's report, there was no emotion in my heart. Even if he heard how powerful, how evil, and how dangerous Shu was. Uzumaki Mito's heart is still calm. But after he finished speaking, Uzumaki Mito nodded and agreed. Wait until Sarutobi Hiruzen leaves. Uzumaki Mito's eyes were deep and he murmured softly, let me exert my last remaining heat for the ninja world and Konoha. At some point, her heart died. 
Is it when Nawaki draws his sword against Konoha? Or did Tsunade leave and never come back? Or, that line from Uzumaki Chihiro, Senju Mito? Perhaps, all of them, she was tired. After this war is over, it's time for her to go down and see that idiot Hashirama. He left early, leaving the mess of Konoha to her. Let her be sandwiched between Konoha and the Kingdom of Whirlpool, and she is not a human being inside and outside. After waiting, you must give him a good beating. It's best not to let her see the scene below where Senju Hashirama is flirting with Uchiha Madara. Konoha. Somewhere in a laboratory, Orochimaru stared at the person inside the coffin with feverish eyes. If someone who is familiar with him is here, they will be able to identify this person at a glance. Orochimaru licked his lips excitedly and sighed. Second Hokage, what a genius. This kind of forbidden technique that plays with the soul can actually be created by him. Since his last trip to the Kingdom of Whirlpool, he has become extremely interested in souls. Although the real sealed book was taken away by the Kingdom of Whirlpool. But Konoha can't be stupid enough to forget all the forbidden technique above. So from the copy of the sealed book, he found the forbidden technique created by Second Hokage. Reanimation Jutsu. Chapter 99 Block it off Black Wing Demon. The more proficient Orochimaru becomes with reanimation jutsu, the more Orochimaru can appreciate the amazing talent of second Hokage. But, currently, for him, this reanimation jutsu still has quite a few flaws. Because the original purpose of second Hokage was just to use reanimation jutsu with another forbidden technique tandem paper bombs. Being able to summon people's souls from the pure land world is also an unexpected joy. But it is precisely because of the original intention of second Hokage that even summoning the deceased back to the limit has some serious flaws. For example, the strength of the summoned characters is currently far less than the strength they had during their lifetime. And the more powerful a person is, the harder it is for him to control him, and he may break away from his control at any time. The only advantage is that the person who has been reanimation jutsu summoned will most likely have unlimited chakra and an immortal earth body. Apart from that, he also tried summoning Senju Nawaki. Although Nawaki's body was blown to pieces, some body tissue was still left behind. Impure world reincarnation is therefore also possible. He wanted to confirm whether the souls taken away by the Kingdom of Whirlpool could be summoned back through reanimation jutsu. Experiments have proven that reanimation jutsu cannot summon the souls taken away by the Kingdom of Whirlpool. Orochimaru's eyes flashed strangely. He didn't know whether this was because the soul did not go to the Pure Land, or because of the special characteristics of the country of Whirlpool, or because the Green Tree had become a Shinigami. All kinds of mysteries still need to be explored in depth. But for now, let's study reanimation jutsu thoroughly. Bang. The coffin in front of Orochimaru was suddenly closed. The mark of a beginning, flashed by, at the same time, the country of thunder, cloud shinobi village, in the conference room of the Hokage building, the few remaining senior executives sat in their seats and remained silent, on the conference table, the seat and the two auxiliary seats on the left and right are empty, these locations were none other than the third rakage that I later publicly executed, as well as Mr. I, the candidate for the fourth rakage, who went to the country of whirlpool to rescue the third rakage, but never came back, and Mr. Todai, the general staff officer of cloud shinobi village. The entire conference room was filled with a depressing atmosphere. Everyone's eyes were staring at the three empty seats involuntarily, with some sadness on their faces. I am also thinking in my mind, if the third rakage had not attacked the captain of the country of Uzumaki at the Five Cage Conference, would Cloud Shinobi Village not have reached this point? But there is no regret medicine in this world, and there is no chance to do it again 093. Things have happened, so let's think about what to do in the future. The situation of the Kingdom of Thunder is very embarrassing now. Because of the loss of third rakage and the film after the alternate. In the huge Cloud Shinobi village, there is no suitable candidate for rakage. In Cloud Shinobi village, in order to become a rakage, in addition to strong strength, the most important thing is tough skills. At this point, the Yeui clan is a perfect candidate for their rakage. Therefore, the rakages of the past dynasties were all headed by the Yeui clan. But now third rakage and I died suddenly. Even the Yozuki clan would not be able to send two ninjas as powerful as third rakage or I to Cloud Shinobi village again. Therefore, this time the movie can only be selected from Cloud Shinobi village. But until now, they have not found a suitable candidate. So much so that Cloud Shinobi Village is now leaderless. Coupled with the virtual threat, the entire Kingdom of Thunder has a feeling that the building is about to collapse. The people of the Kingdom of Thunder were panicked, and the order was gradually beginning to collapse. Even the daimyo of the Kingdom of Thunder couldn't sit still and issued an ultimatum to Cloud Shinobi Village, asking them to select rakage as soon as possible to solve the domestic threat of virtuality. But Cloud Shinobi Village has no time to deal with the name of Thunder Country. Now that they are gathered here, they have simply received the information sent by Huang Tu. Shu, we are going to take action against their Kingdom of Thunder. This news gave them a headache. At the same time, they also learned about the forces behind these hollows and the news that they had declared war on the entire ninja world. You said you declared war, so why do you have to attack them, the Kingdom of Thunder? Who did their Kingdom of Thunder offend whom? What to do? Some couldn't help but ask questions. The others looked at each other, speechless. No one can give an answer to this question. The current Kingdom of Thunder, relying on its numerical advantage and the addition of eight tails, can barely withstand the false attacks of the Kingdom of Thunder but it also looked like it was in danger. If there are more falsehoods here, they will really not be able to bear it. 
What do Iwagakur and Konoha say? Now, the only solution they can think of is to ask other ninja villages for help. Besides, didn't they form some kind of ninja alliance? The Kingdom of Thunder is also a part of the ninja world. But you can't just ignore it. The situation is not very optimistic. The assembly and deployment of the ninja coalition will still take time. They want us to hold them back until their ninja coalition is assembled and then come to support. By the time they arrive, the day lilies will probably be cold. The others silently complained in their hearts. A feeling of sadness came to my heart. The Kingdom of Thunder, I'm afraid it's really going to be cold now. By the way, Iwagakur said, no matter what, Eight Tails must live. The Ninja Alliance needs the power of Eight Tails. Someone couldn't help but said, but Eight Tails doesn't listen to our orders at all. Nonsense, Eight Tails wants to plow the Kingdom of Thunder with the horns on its head. How could you possibly listen to them? If Eight Tails hadn't gotten angry with that giant, the country might have been in trouble long ago. At this moment, Baruhi, covered in bandages, walked in from the door. Baruhi, are you awake? A flash of surprise suddenly flashed in the other's eyes. Bluebi is also a member of the Yozuki clan, and is also the nephew of Third Rakage. The potential is extremely high. If Baruhi can recover, after a few years of training, he will be qualified for the role of Rakage. This can be regarded as the only good news for the Kingdom of Thunder in recent days. Unfortunately, Cloud Shinobi Village doesn't have much time left. Barubi also knew the current situation of Cloud Shinobi Village, and said firmly, Reseal Eight Tails, I will become the Jinchuriki of Eight Tails. Wow, everyone suddenly stood up and stared at Barubi, completely shocked by Barubi's words. Barubi, are you kidding me? Eight Tails is. B.U. Ruby's face was expressionless, he knew what they wanted to say. Because the previous experiments of Eight Tails Jinchuriki all ended in failure. Those who became the experimental subjects of Eight Tails Jinchuriki were all killed by the rampaging Eight Tails without exception. But today's Cloud Shinobi Village. He took a deep breath. His eyes were firm and he said, we have no other choice. The Kingdom of Thunder is in urgent need of someone who can calm the situation to step forward. And becoming an Eight Tails Jinchuriki is the fastest way to increase your strength. B.U. Ruby said with deep eyes, don't worry, I won't die. He still wants to live to avenge the dead movie and I. Woo woo woo. At this moment, a first level alarm suddenly sounded in the village. A loud alarm bell rang throughout Cloud Shinobi Village. Barubi's expression changed, and he looked out at the sky through the window of the rakage building. The torn space instantly filled the entire sky with black. In the black space, strange creatures walked out one after another, and soon covered the sky of Cloud Shinobi Village. Barubi stared at the densely packed monsters in the sky, her pupils dilated several times in an instant. The virtual army has invaded. Ah, Cloud Shinobi Village, a voice of panic instantly sounded. But soon, some sounds stopped abruptly. The masters who made the noise were bitten by these empty mouths. Barubi clenched his fists and his eyes were bloodshot, but his reason told him not to be carried away by anger. He suppressed his anger. He grabbed the person on the side and gritted his teeth and said, Quick! Send me to Eight Tails. I will become Eight Tails Jinchuriki immediately. Too fast. It came too fast. Almost not long after Lois sent them the news, the virtual army invaded. They were not given any chance to deploy at all. At the same time, they also saw their determination through this virtual invasion. CDFD. These virtual forces are really determined to declare war on the ninja world. They're not kidding. Bluebee had no time to hesitate. He knows that the only way to break the situation now is for him to become Eight Tails Jinchuriki. Use the power of Eight Tails to delay time and save the strength of Cloud Shinobi Village while waiting for the support of the Ninja Alliance. The person captured by Buru also knew the current situation in Cloud Shinobi Village. As long as you are not careful, you may fall into catastrophe. So he didn't hesitate and rushed directly with Barubi in the direction of Eight Tails. The others are responsible for blocking the Shu who was chasing them. The Land of Thunder. On the battlefield between Yami and Eight Tails. Same as Cloud Shinobi Village. The dense sky tore open the black space. One by one, Shu walked out of it. Wukiora stood on the body of an Ajukas, ignoring the entire Kingdom of Thunder. He set his sights on Yami and said, Too slow, Yami. Yami's movement suddenly stopped, and his empty eyes gradually regained some sense. There you are, Wukiora Cipher. Eight Tails Yuki apparently noticed Wukiora as well. Humph, is he your companion? Even if there is one more, you are still no match for your Eight Tails uncle. Uncharacteristically, Yami was not offended by its words. This made Eight Tails Yuki look surprised. What happened? How could this man calm this guy down? Having fought with Yami for so long, Eight Tails Yuki has fully understood Yami. Perhaps because of its ability, this big guy is very irritable. So it was incredible to see Ukiora able to calm him down. Ukiora glanced at Eight Tails coldly, and then said, It's time to end things here. Yami paused and heard what Ukiora meant. It seems that Wong can't wait any longer. Although I am very reluctant to give up my opponent Baoding Yuki. But for a while he really couldn't take down Eight Tails Yuki. If the king's important events were delayed because of him, then he would be worthy of death. After Yami calmed down, his huge body suddenly shrank. Gradually, he returned to his normal human body shape and released his sword returning state. Um, Eight Tails Yuki glared and said mockingly, Why, are you finally bowing down to your Eight Tails uncle and admitting defeat? Yami is unhappy, 
I clicked my tongue, but for the great cause of the king. Endure. Yami remained silent and stepped on the ajukas flying in the sky like a whale at Wukiora's feet. This time Eight Tails Gyuki was really shocked. This guy can actually control his emotions. He had been shouting something unforgivable before, and the other person was almost annoyed to death. It turns out you can control it. Wukiora stared at Eight Tails Gyuki and said coldly, So, are you the obstacle to us destroying the Kingdom of Thunder? Eight Tails Gyuki's eyes froze. To destroy the Kingdom of Thunder, it simply supports it with Eight Tails. Why is it an obstacle to annihilating the Kingdom of Thunder? If it hadn't been pestered by the guy next to you who can grow bigger, it would have attacked the Kingdom of Thunder first. In its view, these voids are the biggest obstacle to its elimination of the Kingdom of Thunder. Moreover, this guy really makes it unhappy. That attitude of not taking it seriously. Tisk, it's a tailed beast, it's eight tails. When have you ever been wronged like this? Eight tails Gyuki's bull's eyes glared, and a tail lashed out unreasonably. Boom, a dull voice suddenly sounded. Eight tails Gyuki's eyes widened again. The tail whipped Wukiora's body, but it didn't move at all. That's it again, this physical fitness is like steel. What did these guys grow up on? Wukiora's face was expressionless, and he raised his left hand slightly, holding Eight Tails Gyuki's tail in his hand. Under Eight Tails Gyuki's incomprehensible look, Wukiora squeezed hard. Boom, the thick tail suddenly exploded. Eight Tails ate for a moment, then stared at Wukiora closely. I couldn't help complaining in my heart. What is going on in this ninja world? Strong men who are not usually seen are appearing one after another. Just relying on the power of Wukiora's hand to crush its tail, it knew that this guy was another person who was not weaker than, or even stronger than, Yami. It is the eight tails that is feared by the ninja world. Why does its tail look more fragile than tofu in this guy's hands? Where did these guys come from? Wukiora's eyes did not waver, and he used sound spin, and instantly reached the top of eight tails Gyuki and, jumped down with all his strength. Eight tails Gyuki immediately danced his tail behind him, blocking Wukiora's attack. Bang bang bang. The sound of fists hitting the flesh kept ringing between the two of them. Wukiora's eyes flickered, and she finally understood why Yami was in a stalemate with the giant bull with an octopus and a tentacle tail in front of her. However, this level is not enough. Wukiora raised her index finger forward, her green Reiatsu flashed, and said coldly, Sero. Buzz. The green light on the index finger suddenly shined, and the green light beam shot straight towards Eight Tails Gyuki. Eight Tails Gyuki's eyes widened, and he quickly formed a small tailed beast bomb with his hands. With a snap, it was instantly photographed on the green light beam. Boom. The violent explosion blasted a huge bowl-shaped pit into the ground between them. Wukiora stood in the sky, looking down at the unharmed Eight Tails Gyuki, and said, it seems that with this state alone, I won't be able to take you down for a while. After finishing her words, Wukiora slowly pulled out the knife from her waist. Eight Tails Gyuki stared at Wukiora's movements, and his heart skipped a beat. Does this guy have other forms? At this moment, Wukiora's cold voice sounded from the sky. Block it, Black Wing Demon. Chapter 100 Invite the Kingdom of Whirlpool to join the Ninja Alliance. Interesting for you. The seven most famous plus-size models in the world. More. 762. 191. 254. Seal it down, Black Wing Demon. Wukiora finished speaking. Black raindrops suddenly fell from the sky of the Kingdom of Thunder. The Cloud Shinobi raised their heads inexplicably, and when raindrops fell on them, they suddenly felt their bodies sink. With a bang, he fell to his knees on the ground, and his eyes suddenly became frightened. No matter how hard they try, they can't lift their ears. The whole person seemed to be locked to the ground. My whole body was shaking uncontrollably. The pressure on their bodies seemed to crush their bodies. Even the movement of chakra is much slower. Eight Tails Gyuki's eyes widened. When these raindrops fell on it, it also gave him a heavy feeling. Fortunately, it easily broke away from the pressure. This guy, Eight Tails Gyuki was secretly shocked. Just one transformation can trigger such a change that is like a celestial phenomenon. It couldn't help but look at Wukiora. A pair of big black wings that could cover the sky grew out of Wukiora's back. Wearing a white jumpsuit, a two-horned helmet, and his black nails turned into long claws. The tear stains on his face seemed to become deeper and thicker. A terrifying aura came from Wukiora. Eight Tails Gyuki's eyes became serious. This amazing momentum. Tisk. The time ahead is not going to be easy. Just as it seems. Wukiora's eyes were calm and her hands buzzed. A green light gun was caught in his hand. Eight Tails Gyuki was heartbroken and launched an attack without waiting for Wukiora to take the first step. With ink wrapped around its tail, it attacks Wukiora again. Laugh. Green light flashed by. Eight Tails Gyuki's expression was stunned for a moment, and then he felt pain in his tail. The octopus tail fell from the sky with a bang. A green light gun nailed its tail to the ground. Before Eight Tails Gyuki could react, six more green light guns arrived in an instant, pinning the rest of the octopus tail waving in the air to the ground. Eight Tails Gyuki's expression changed and he twitched his tail hard. I found that every time I exerted force, the place where the light gun was inserted would feel a burning and tearing pain. Eight Tails Gyuki's face darkened. Can't move. Wukiora's eyes were cold, now looking down at it from above. Stretch out your index finger, and a touch of green condenses from your fingertips. It's broken. It's a target. Eight Tails Gyuki's heart tightened. 
Seeing Wukiora raise her hand, it knew that Wukiora was going to do it again. However, this time the energy at his fingertips is obviously more powerful than last time. Eight Tails Gyuki opened his mouth, and a highly concentrated black energy ball gathered. Eight Tails Gyuki stretched his neck forward and swallowed the tail beast bomb into his mouth. Boom. The next second, the black and green columns collided. A huge explosion exploded from between them. The earth was wiped out instantly. Cloud Shinobi, who was pressed to the ground by the black Rayatsu raindrops, had horror in his eyes, and his body tried his best to get up and stay away from this terrifying battlefield. But no matter how hard they try, the pressure is still pressing on them. In the end, they could only watch helplessly as the light of the explosion engulfed them. Wait for the afterglow of the explosion to dissipate. On the entire battlefield, except for Ukiora and Eight Tails Gyuki. Apart from Yami who was watching from the wall and Ajukas at his feet, there was no other living person. The power of Tail Beast Bomb and Sero turns everything nearby into nothingness. Eight Tails Gyuki couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief when he saw that the green beam was counteracted. Just as he was about to make a move, he found that the light gun inserted into his tail still hadn't dissipated. His pupils shrank and he was shocked. This thing was not destroyed by the explosion caused by the tail beast bomb. At this moment, Wukiora said, It seems that you are very excited to just offset Sero to this extent. Eight Tails Gyuki suddenly had an ominous premonition in his heart. Suddenly he raised his head and looked upward at Wukiora. Wukiora did not lower his index finger, but continued to gather energy. Eight Tails Gyuki immediately breathed a sigh of relief when he saw this. What did you think it was? It turns out to be this energy beam again. With its infinite chakra, even countless kinds of energy beams can come back. It can all be counteracted by Tail Beast Bomb. Eight Tails Gyuki didn't hesitate either. Open your mouth again and reunite the Tail Beast Bomb. The black energy ball was still swallowed by it. Launched towards Ukiora. At the same time, Ukiora's Sero was also launched. What makes Eight Tails Gyuki wonder is, why is the energy beam black this time? But there was no time for him to think. Ukiora's expression was calm and he said, Sero. Boom. The next moment, two equally black energy beams collided again. There was still no accident, and the ground between them was blown away again. The pit beneath your feet has become even deeper after repeated abuses. The Eight Tails Gyuki King was still deadlocked with the energy beam, but he breathed a sigh of relief. I thought there was something special about changing the name and color. It turns out it's still the same as before. Eight Tails Gyuki was unconcerned. But soon, his eyes suddenly widened. The black Sero suddenly expanded. Submerge all his tail beast bombs. He even shot towards it without losing any strength. How can it be? Eight Tails Gyuki subconsciously exclaimed. It was obvious that there was a stalemate before, but why did it suddenly gain the upper hand? Even swallowed its tail beast bomb. But Black Sero didn't give him time to think. In the next second, his entire upper body was penetrated. Not even the earth behind it was spared. Boom. A violent earthquake breaks out in the land of thunder. Black Sero's explosion spread for thousands of miles, and the land was turbulent. Like an earth dragon surging under the ground. There was dust everywhere in Li Zhiguo. Only the lower half of Eight Tails Yuki's body is left. The upper body is also a giant circular cavity, as well as some wreckage. Wukiora's eyes flashed, staring at the ruined kingdom of thunder. The king's mission should be considered completed now, right? His eyes flickered slightly, and occasionally he could see a few surviving figures running around for honey. Wukiora did not pursue them and kill them all. He is not a hollow who kills indiscriminately. Let the remaining survivors be dealt with by other virtual beings. A black void suddenly opened behind Wukiora. Let's go. Kizo. The words fell. The figures of Wukiora and Yami disappeared over the Kingdom of Thunder. As for the Ajukas at their feet, they stayed behind and continued to destroy the destroyed Kingdom of Thunder and the survivors. Snap. Under ruins. A pair of hands stretched out from the ground. And then quickly, scoop up nearby gravel, climbed out from under the rubble. After he came out, he pulled another person out from underneath. This is Barubi who has come to the battlefield. Bluebee's bandage was dyed red. He was already seriously injured, but his injuries became even more serious due to the impact of Black Sero. After seeing the scene of the Kingdom of Thunder, his eyes couldn't stop trembling. Holding his hands on the gravel, he lay on the ground and said in disbelief, This, this is the Kingdom of Thunder. How, how could it be? He was obviously fine just now. He was still fine just now. It's just a blink of an eye. How could the Kingdom of Thunder be like this? He opened his mouth and became dizzy. I just find it difficult to breathe. The Kingdom of Thunder is completely destroyed. He was in a low mood and couldn't stop feeling sad. The Kingdom of Thunder, which was one of the five major countries half a month ago, was destroyed just by saying so. He recalled the scene before the collapse. There is a man with wings fighting eight tails. After the tailed beast bomb collided with the black energy pillar, the Kingdom of Thunder suddenly became like this. What exactly happened at that time? Eight tails. Yes, eight tails. Barubi stood up staggeringly. Look for any trace of eight tails. When he saw a figure that looked like a giant octopus, his face lit up with joy. As long as eight tails is still alive, as long as eight tails is still alive. As long as he can become Eight Tails Jinchuriki, there is still a chance for everything. The Kingdom of Thunder will surely be rebuilt. Just like the country of Whirlpool. His face immediately froze in place. 
because he could see clearly how miserable Eight Tails was at this moment. Eight octopus tails on the lower body were nailed to the ground by green light guns. The upper body is missing a cylindrical opening. Dot dot dot. Is this really Eight Tails? Eight Tails. He was beaten like this. Gudong. Barubi swallowed, feeling that his throat was very dry. That man with wings is not even a match for Eight Tails. How terrible is the power to turn Eight Tails into a team like this? Bu Ruby was extremely desperate, and a deep sense of powerlessness enveloped him. What to do? What should he do? Who will tell him how to save the Kingdom of Thunder? Plop. Barubi could no longer hold on and knelt on the ground again. Drop by drop, tears fell from the eyes. Wet the gravel beneath you. Bu Barubi Sama, the ninja who brought him here seemed to have seen something incredible. Barubi looked up and saw Eight Tails' body suddenly turned into a puff of smoke. A doubled-sized Eight Tails appeared in front of them. The difference is that only four of the Eight Tails behind him are left. Survive by docking your tail. Eight Tails' special abilities. Each tail can withstand a critical critical damage. But what makes it frightening is. The blow just now consumed all four of its tails. To put it simply, that Black Sarrow has already killed it four times. If it gets hit again, it will die completely and will only see you again in fifty years. Please give me flowers. It touched the non-existent cold sweat on its head. Heartfelt feeling. Damn it. This ninja world is too dangerous. Senju Hashirama with a dozen nine-tailed beasts in front. Now there is a hollow who can beat tailed beasts. Six paths don't touch it, old man. Fish. Take it back quickly, it doesn't want to stay in this ninja world anymore. Being a tailed beast is too dangerous. At this moment, a low shout suddenly came from behind it. Now, the amber bottle. A strong suction force immediately twisted eight tails, and then sucked it straight into the amber bottle. Holy shit. Six paths old man, you've done all the bad things. Even if they were thrown into the ninja world, there were still so many artifacts against tailed beasts left behind. Huh. Successfully sealed eight tails into the amber bottle. Barubi finally breathed a sigh of relief. This is already the only good news for the Kingdom of Thunder. Barubi said with firm eyes, go back to Cloud Shinobi Village. Conduct the eight tails Jinchuriki experiment immediately. The ninja next to him opened his mouth, but in the end he didn't say anything. When they go back, will Cloud Shinobi Village still be there? He looked at the ruined Kingdom of Thunder and felt a deep chill. How could such a monster defeat them? Soon, the news that the Kingdom of Thunder was destroyed by Shu spread throughout the ninja world. Everyone was stunned. A huge country, Cloud Shinobi Village, the only one that could compete with Konoha, is gone. Of course, they also know that the high-end combat power of Cloud Shinobi Village has been taken over by the country of Whirlpool. But, after all, it is a huge country. How could he be destroyed so quickly? Didn't Shu just declare war? Only now do people in the ninja world understand that these so-called declarations of war are not just words. They are serious. At this moment, they truly felt the cold fear. Especially the destruction of the Kingdom of Thunder seemed to let them see their future ending. No one ridiculed the destruction of the Kingdom of Thunder, but instead felt the sadness of sharing the same fate. Ninja Alliance. Yes, they also have a Ninja Alliance. Humanity must win. At this moment, everyone began to pray. I hope humanity can win. They don't want to be like the Kingdom of Thunder, nor do they want to become food in Shu's mouth. The other small ninja villages also realized the seriousness of the matter and began to respond to the alliance agreement of the three major ninja villages. Facing a common crisis, the ninja world unanimously put aside their hatred and interests temporarily and jointly fought against their enemies. Virtual. At the same time, two scales Onoki and others also received news from the Kingdom of Thunder. He couldn't help but frown. Too fast. The Kingdom of Thunder was destroyed too quickly. It's impossible for their ninja coalition to support them so quickly. There are obviously some eight tails, but it still fails to delay time. That Wukiora, is she really that strong? The news from the Kingdom of Thunder made them understand that the real reason for the destruction of the Kingdom of Thunder was Wukiora who appeared at the meeting place of the Three Shadows. They already knew how powerful Wukiora was, but they didn't expect that Wukiora was more powerful than they imagined. Fortunately, Wukiora didn't know that Eight Tails also had the special ability to survive by cutting off its tails. On the contrary, Eight Tails managed to survive. Although its strength has been weakened by half, it is still a tailed beast after all. Yes, it's better than nothing. At the same time, the Ninja Alliance, under the leadership of the three major ninja villages, once again sent an invitation to the Kingdom of Whirlpool. Even if they are secretly planning how to bring about the Kingdom of Whirlpool. But at least they didn't seem to be at odds. What's more, facing the common crisis of the ninja world, as a member of the ninja world, the country of Whirlpool is powerful. It's time to contribute to the ninja world. Moreover, the Kingdom of Whirlpool is also an expert in dealing with the virtual. With their strong strength and professional methods, if the Kingdom of Whirlpool can join the ninja alliance, they will be more confident. The Kingdom of Whirlpool has vaguely stood at the top of the ninja world. This powerful fighting force cannot be used in vain. What's more, there is no matter about the Kingdom of Thunder this time. You can't let the Kingdom of Whirlpool continue to refuse, right? And, they also have some small thoughts in mind. Through this war, some behind-the-scenes operations may be a good opportunity to weaken the power of the Kingdom of Whirlpool. Unlike Serutobi Hiruzen, who only wanted to completely defeat the country of Uzumaki. 
Third case cage and two-day scale Onoki simply think that the country of Whirlpool is too strong. It broke the existing balance in the ninja world. They did not want to be swallowed up by the powerful kingdom of Whirlpool, so they could only cooperate to weaken the strength of the kingdom of Whirlpool. But he didn't think about killing the country of Whirlpool with one stroke. Of course, if given the chance, they would never be merciful. After all, the technologies of the country of Whirlpool are indeed eye-catching. Soon, the letter was delivered to the country of Whirlpool. Two scales Onoki and others are looking forward to the response from the country of Whirlpool. If the kingdom of Whirlpool can agree, it will definitely be good news for the ninja alliance. B. The country of Whirlpool only replied with one sentence. Go away, don't get involved. Chapter 101 The Mysterious Thunder System Zanpakuto, completed by Espada. Interesting for you. The seven most famous plus-size models in the world. More. 589. 147. 196. Get lost. Don't get involved. Boom. Earth Country. Iwagakur. Suchikage Building. Suchikage Office. Onoki, the two-person scale, slapped the letter in his hand on the table, his face turned pale. This country of Whirlpool really doesn't give any face at all. Simply arrogant and domineering. And at this time when the life and death of the ninja world is at stake, the country of Whirlpool actually dares to openly refuse to join the ninja alliance. Are you, the country of Whirlpool, still a part of the ninja world? Two scales Onoki talked to third case cage, Serutobi Hiruzen about the kingdom of Whirlpool. They all looked angry. The country of Whirlpool really abandons the survival of the ninja world without caring about it. Even at this time, you are still so independent. Condemn. This irresponsible and bad behavior of the country of Whirlpool must be severely condemned. Soon, the ninja alliance formed by the three major ninja villages and other small ninja villages began to denounce the actions of the country of Whirlpool. At the same time, it can be regarded as exposing the refusal of the kingdom of Whirlpool to join the ninja alliance to the entire ninja world. This is exactly the purpose of two scales Onoki and the others, to use the pressure of public opinion in the entire ninja world to force the country of Whirlpool to submit. There are so many high-end combat powers in the kingdom of Whirlpool, how can we not make good use of them? With the addition of the kingdom of Whirlpool, the war with Shu will definitely be much easier. Of course, even if we cannot get the combat support of the country of Whirlpool, we must force the country of Whirlpool to provide technical support to the ninja alliance. In short, you need to either develop people or develop technology. Ninja World. After learning that the country of Whirlpool rejected the invitation of the Ninja Alliance. There was an uproar immediately. No, why? Why doesn't the Kingdom of Whirlpool join the Ninja Alliance? It's over. The, 250, family as powerful as the Whirlpool Kingdom won't join the Ninja Alliance. I think this war with the Hollow is probably on the line. Why doesn't the country of Uzumaki join the Ninja Alliance? This is saving the Ninja World. Konoha and Sunagakar, who were at war just now, have put aside their hatred and worked together. What can't you let go of in the country of Uzumaki? I have long seen that this country of Whirlpool is not a good thing. For a time, the kingdom of Whirlpool was criticized verbally and writtenly by all parties in the ninja world. From the daimyo to the common people, everyone is denouncing the kingdom of Whirlpool. And this is exactly the effect that two-day scale Onoki and the others want to see. The country of Whirlpool, Seraiti. Uzumaki Chihiro knows exactly what Onogi and the others think. Isn't it just that he wants to use public opinion to force the kingdom of Whirlpool to contribute? Just kidding, in the face of absolute strength, there is no pressure from public opinion at all. On the contrary, Uzumaki Chihiro would like to thank them for allowing the country of Whirlpool to gain another face in the ninja world. What's more, can he not know where Shu came from? Those are all his soldiers. It's okay to just show off. Let the kingdom of Whirlpool send troops to attack the other side's troops. He was really crazy to do that. Uzumaki Chihiro decided to ignore them. But this silent gesture made two scales Onoki and the others think that the country of Whirlpool was afraid. So he became even more arrogant. He publicly said, Either send troops and join the Ninja Alliance and let them manage it uniformly, or share the technology of the Kingdom of Whirlpool to support the war with the Hollow. The voice of the Ninja world is getting louder and louder. Let the Kingdom of Whirlpool send troops, hand over the technology against the Hollows, and support the war between the Ninja Alliance and the Hollows. When their lives were at stake, they were simply more anxious than anyone else. The country of Whirlpool is not used to it either. On the same day, the boundary gate was opened to the top of the Ninja Coalition. One Hado no. 91 The Senju Kaden Taipao blasted through the boundary gate at the Ninja Alliance's station. When densely packed and countless rays of light fell from the world transmitting gate, a huge explosion shattered the newly built Ninja Coalition station. The screams one after another are endless. Fortunately, the large forces of the Ninja Alliance have not gathered yet, otherwise they might not have had time to start a war with Shu. The Ninja Coalition was lost under this blow. But even if there were not too many casualties, the terrifying power left them with lingering fears. At the same time, a cold voice came from the other side of the boundary gate. If you push me harder, there's no need to wait for Shu. Let's start a war with the Kingdom of Whirlpool first. Hiss. So crazy. Is the Kingdom of Whirlpool really not afraid of the power of the entire ninja world? Of course, now they only dare to say this sentence in their hearts. The Kingdom of Whirlpool is too tough. Without saying anything, he directly hit the Ninja Alliance's station with a heavy blow. Who dares to force this? What if the Whirlpool country finds out and opens a door in the sky at your house and sends a light cannon over? 
but the tyranny of the Whirlpool Kingdom also made them feel resentful, and the anti-Whirlpool Kingdom became even more serious. Your Kingdom of Whirlpool is so powerful, why don't you join the Ninja Alliance and save the Ninja World? It's the other way around. Ninja Alliance Provisional General Staff Headquarters, Two Scales Onoki was pacing back and forth, his face ashen. It was obviously the actions and words of the Whirlpool Kingdom that angered him. Even Third Case Cage and Serutobi Hiruzen looked gloomy. Does this country of Whirlpool really not care about its reputation at all? The entire ninja world is denouncing the Kingdom of Whirlpool, but the Kingdom of Whirlpool refuses to enter and even gives a heavy blow to the ninja alliance. You know, they now represent the hope of the entire ninja world. This behavior of the Kingdom of Whirlpool is simply treasonous. It will only make the hearts of people in the ninja world stay away from them. Although everyone is temporarily holding back because of the threat from the ninja world, once the war with the ninja is over, sooner or later the country of Whirlpool will be liquidated. HMPH. The Kingdom of Whirlpool is really used to being arrogant, and I don't understand what this ninja alliance represents at all. Onoki, the two-person scale, had a cold expression on his face. The actions and words of the Kingdom of Whirlpool are simply a slap in their faces. But they really can't do anything. At present, the war with Shu is about to begin, and it is impossible to have a conflict in the country of Whirlpool. Third Case Cage frowned and said, I really don't know what the Kingdom of Whirlpool is painting. If we don't join the Ninja Alliance at this time and work together to eliminate the Hollows, and wait for the Hollows to successfully defeat the Ninja Alliance, will they be able to live well in the Kingdom of Whirlpool? Question mark quote. Onoki, the two-person scales, directly said, Forget it, since the country of Whirlpool does not care about the pressure of public opinion in the Ninja world, it is impossible for them to send troops or hand over technology. Let's prepare for the war with Shu first. As for the Kingdom of Whirlpool. Onoki, the two-person scales, snorted coldly and said, after this experience, I believe that the entire ninja world will see clearly the face of the country of Whirlpool. At that time, the ninja world will definitely liquidate the country of Whirlpool. A few days later, after the heavy blow from the kingdom of Whirlpool, the voice of the ninja world became much quieter. Although everyone has a lot of resentment towards the kingdom of Whirlpool, they only dare to say it secretly. The kingdom of Whirlpool, jingling Tsunade looked at Uzumaki Chihiro and hesitated. Uzumaki Chihiro wiped his Zanpakuto carefully and said calmly, If you have anything to do, just tell me. Tsunade couldn't help but said, Chihiro, are we really not going to help? Tsunade still used to call Uzumaki Chihiro by his name when no one was around. After all, the two of them played together for a while when they were young, so it was okay to use the honorific title when there were people around. It's a bit awkward to use the honorific title when there's no one around. Uzumaki Chihiro smiled, he knew who Tsunade was coming to see at this time. After all, the entire ninja world knew about Shu's declaration of war with the ninja world. The kingdom of Whirlpool is naturally no exception. As for Tsunade, he was not a Shinigami recruited through the system, and he didn't even know the relationship between those Hollows and Uzumaki Chihiro. Naturally, I can't help but worry. After all, the ninja world is where they live. It's not hard to understand why Tsunade feels like this. Don't worry, even if Kion successfully defeats the ninja coalition, there will be no problems in the ninja world. Naturally, Uzumaki Chihiro would not reveal his relationship with Kion. After all, the knowledge Tsunade and the others received was still in opposition to Hollow. But he also wanted to give them reassurance. Then he said, Tsunade, you have been in the country of Whirlpool for a while. Tsunade nodded, not sure why Uzumaki Chihiro suddenly asked this. In that case, you should also be aware of the relationship between our Shinigami and Kion. If the Hollow is really stronger than the Kingdom of Whirlpool, how can it not be killed? Can Shinigami be allowed to purify the Hollow in the ninja world? Tsunade was stunned for a moment. Let's put it this way. It seems to make sense, but I always feel like something is not quite right. As far as she knows, Kion is a powerful character who claims to have ten-tailed beast level combat powers. Of course, the scene when Rukia Kuchiki froze four tails to pieces that day also deeply shocked her. But there is only one Rukia Kuchiki in the country of Whirlpool. Seemingly seeing the confusion in Tsunade's eyes, Uzumaki Chihiro smiled mysteriously and said, Don't forget, our country of Whirlpool has thirteen captains. Tsunade was stunned and asked doubtfully, There are really thirteen captains. It has been so long since she came to the kingdom of Whirlpool that she has already met all the captains she should have met. Only the captains of the seven divisions have not been seen yet. Tsunade thought there were no candidates, but after hearing what Uzumaki Chihiro said, it was possible that these captains really existed. Then why has she never seen it? Uzumaki Chihiro smiled. When it's time for them to appear, they will naturally appear. He hasn't recruited him yet, so of course you won't see him. Fine, since Uzumaki Chihiro said so, let her believe it. After all, as the master of the Kingdom of Whirlpool, he must be more at risk than others in the Kingdom of Ping Whirlpool. After clearing Tsunade's doubts, Uzumaki Chihiro stared at Tsunade's thighs, looking thoughtful. Tsunade clicked his tongue. I immediately understood what Uzumaki Chihiro was thinking. This Seppi Ling King, Uzumaki Chihiro cleared his throat and said calmly, I will buy your chips in the casino today. Tsunade immediately knelt down at lightning speed, and the expression on his face became flattering. He said in a stiff voice, Enjoy to your heart's content, my dear soul king. Uzumaki Chihiro nodded with satisfaction, and then lay on Tsunade's plump thighs with peace of mind. 
What you see is a different kind of shocking scenery. Uzumaki Chihiro sank his heart into the system panel while enjoying Tsunade's service. After recruiting so many troops, Uzumaki Chishima's own strength has reached another level. Zenkan Kizai, Reiatsu's strength, etc., have all come to an ultimate. The previous task of recalling the Uzumaki clan has also been completed by him. Already able to perform Zanpakuto Shikai. Dot dot dot. He has good abilities and is a rare rich Zanpakuto. But the name is a bit special. He sunk his mind into Zanpakuto. In his sight, a beautiful figure stands under a huge sakura tree. Her long dark purple hair was tied up with a light pink band, and she was wearing a light purple kimono. Holding a light purple oil paper umbrella in his hand, he quietly looked up at the sakura flowers above his head, as if he was missing something. Uzumaki Chihiro shook his head and did not disturb her. In short, he has successfully awakened Zanpakuto. Time flies by like a fleeting moment. Soon came the day before the war started. The country of Whirlpool, Saraiti, after sending the others away. Uzumaki Chihiro looked at the reputation value on the system panel and said, System, Hueco Mundo lineup, recruit four hero units. Ding. Congratulations to host for successfully recruiting heroic troops, Coyote Stark, Baragan Luzenbairn, Tyr Harabel, Zael Aporo Grants. Kaka. The space in front of Uzumaki Chihiro was torn apart instantly. The first one to come out is Zael Aporo Grants from the Eighth Blade. She has short pink hair, golden pupils, obvious lower eyelashes, and a glasses-shaped mask. Then there is the third blade, Tyr Harabel. Harabel has long golden hair tied into three braids, brown skin, green eyes, golden eyelashes and plump and proud breasts. Upper body 3.6 wears a high collar that covers the face and clothing that exposes the lower half of the chest. The huge mask under the top covers half of the face to the chest. The word, three, representing the third blade is tattooed on the lower right chest. Finally, there is the first blade, Coyote Stark. Behind him, there was a man with short light green hair and a purple flame pattern next to his left eye. He was only wearing an open-breasted vest and shorts. None other than Coyote Stark's Zanpakuto, Lilinette Gingerbuck. There are two scars on the tightly closed right eyelid and below the corner of the mouth that spread to the body. The moment they all saw Uzumaki Chihiro, they all knelt down and shouted, King. Turning his gaze to the monitor, he saw a deep look on the screen of the Ninja Alliance. The mask is shaped like teeth on the lower jaw, which resembles the collar decoration on Stark's neck, the empty hole is located on the lower collarbone, and the, one, tattoo representing the first blade is located on the back of the left hand wearing gloves. Then there is Baragan Luzenbairn on the second blade. Well, Hueco Mundo was the king after all. Uzumaki Chihiro chuckled. Little girl Erinkar with her head and left half of her face covered inside a mask. The third ninja war has begun. He is very tall and muscular, and looks like the oldest Erinkar among Espada, looking like an old man. The mask is a crown headdress on the head, a huge gold compass belt is tied around the waist, and he wears a long coat with a velvet collar. The dress style is very monarchical. The overall appearance is that of an ordinary human uncle. Stark's appearance is the most ordinary and most human among all Erinkars. Stark has short dark brown slightly curly hair, gray-blue eyes, and a slight beard on his chin. All I can say is that it looks very royal. At this point, Aspada has assembled. Chapter 102 The Third War of the Ninja World has begun. The day of the Third Ninja War has arrived as scheduled. The Ninja Coalition had prepared early, and every ninja had solemn and determined eyes on their faces. But there was also this lingering fear in their eyes. As long as it is war, no one is not afraid. Because of war, people are bound to die. No one knows whether the person who died will be him. What's more, this enemy is very unfamiliar to them. Usually I fight with ninjas, but this time I face a monster called Hollow. Some people have seen Shu's appearance occasionally, but some people have never encountered it at all. I know very little about this kind of thing. Facing the unknown, people are always filled with fear. But as the main enemy of the third ninja war, all the ninja villages also shared their information. Let the ninja alliance have a clearer understanding of Shu. After their research, they found that these virtual entities also have classes. Each level corresponds to its corresponding strength. The most advanced among them are probably those in human form. After understanding some false information, the Ninja Alliance also began to reasonably allocate battlefields. Try to minimize the losses of the Ninja Alliance. The sky is bright, Jiraiya walked out of one of the tents. Looking at the sun creeping out from the east, my eyes are full of complexity. Until the war with Sunagakar ends. After he returned to Konoha, he learned about the changes in Konoha in recent times. Although Konoha has been almost rebuilt with the power of the ninjas. But one can still vaguely see the brutality of the invasion by the kingdom of Whirlpool. And, the dead Nawaki unexpectedly appeared again, still is an enemy of Konoha, and also awakened the first Hokage's wood style. Tsunade also ran into the giant golden gate of the country of Whirlpool because of Nawaki. His life and death are still unknown. Besides, Orochimaru's changes were also somewhat beyond his imagination. I don't know where my nest is every day, and I don't often come out to have dinner with him. After meeting him once when he first came back, he never saw her again. Oh, You've obviously been away from Konoha for half a year, why do you feel like everything has changed? Jiraiya felt a little uncomfortable. Teacher, Namikaze Minato walked over from the side and couldn't help shouting when he saw Mr. Jiraiya looking sad. 
Jiraiya came back to his senses slightly, and smiled happily after seeing Namikaze Minato. Fortunately, his lovely apprentice has not changed much. No, there are some. It's just not very obvious. That is becoming more mature. Maybe it's because Minato has always looked very mature, so it's hard to see. But as his teacher, Jiraiya is very aware of Minato's changes. Uzumaki Kashina ah, he remembered the name Minato had often mentioned to him before. Having also come from a youth background, he certainly knew what Minato was thinking. But this kind of thing always depends on fate. He calmed down and asked, Minato, how are you doing with the Flying Thunder God technique? After returning from the front line this time, Jiraiya accumulated a lot of military exploits. It can be used to exchange ninjutsu with the village. But he didn't have the necessary ninjutsu. So I prepared to give Minato a gift, asking him to choose a technique from the sealed book, and then he would change it. Unexpectedly, Minato fell in love with the Flying Thunder God technique at first glance. Jiraiya was not optimistic at first. After all, the Flying Thunder God technique is a time and space ninjutsu. Without talent in this area, it is impossible to learn it no matter how hard you practice. But I didn't expect that Minato really has this talent. Therefore, Jiraiya looked forward to Minato's Flying Thunder God technique. Once this technique can be learned, the upper limit is very high. Namikaze Minato lived up to his expectations and replied, I can barely use it. Jiraiya was stunned. Minato's talent is truly terrifying. You got started in just a few days. Of course, apart from Minato's talent, his hard work is also indispensable. Because the idea of bringing Uzumaki Kashina back to Konoha has been on my mind. Minato practices the Flying Thunder God technique very hard. Moreover, his purpose of practicing the Flying Thunder God technique is also to use this time and space ninjutsu to save Kashina. Black. At this moment, the long roar of the assembly spread throughout the temporary headquarters of the ninja coalition. Suddenly, all the ninjas put down what they were doing and gathered towards the central square. Two scales Onoki, third case cage and Serutobi Hiruzen stand on the high platform. Looking at the densely packed ninjas below, at this moment, my confidence skyrocketed. By uniting the power of the entire ninja world, even if Uchiha Madara is resurrected, they are confident of defeating him. Wait until almost everyone has arrived. Two scales Onoki and others launched pre-war mobilization. The ninja alliance said with great enthusiasm. I can't wait to go find a fight with Shu immediately. Serutobi Hiruzen nodded with satisfaction. It seems that the will of fire method is also very effective when used on the ninja alliance. His eyes moved and looked in the direction of Konoha Shinobi. When he saw Uchiha's tribe, Serutobi Hiruzen's face darkened. Because the current leader of the Uchiha clan, Uchiha Fugaku left Konoha at some point. And he only learned this information after going to the Uchiha clan. If it hadn't been for the formation of the Ninja Alliance, it might have been some time before Serutobi Hiruzen knew about Uchiha Fugaku's departure from Konoha. And Uchiha's wealthy departure did not alarm anyone, not even leveling at the Konoha Gate. This has always bothered Serutobi Hiruzen. As a direct disciple of Second Hokage Senju Toborama, I also heard a lot of evil things about the Uchiha clan from my teacher. In addition, many things have happened in Konoha recently, which has caused the Uchiha family and Konoha's top management to drift away. Serutobi Hiruzen is very worried about what bad things Uchiha Fugaku will do to Konoha. But now we are at a critical moment in the war between the Ninja Alliance and the Hollow. Even if Uchiha Fugaku wants to do something detrimental to Konoha, he can no longer stop him. Just hope that things won't turn out too badly. At the same time, Uchiha Fugaku, whom Serutobi Hiruzen longs for, has also been successfully brainwashed by Uchiha Madara. After Uchiha Madara was relieved, he ripped off the tube behind him that provided him with life force. Almost instantly, Uchiha Madara's vitality declined rapidly. Uchiha Madara's face was expressionless, without any fear of death. His eyes were deep and he said in a deep voice, I hope you won't keep me waiting too long. Finally, he glanced at Black Zetsu again, indicating that he should watch carefully. Then he closed his eyes and completely lost his vital signs. After placing the body of Uchiha Madara, Black Zetsu said, Let's go, the war between the Ninja Alliance and the Hollow is about to begin, let's go there too. The more chaotic the ninja world is, the more opportunities they have. This third ninja war might be able to successfully fulfill his long-cherished wish for thousands of years. Uchiha Fugaku nodded put on a special mask, and finally looked up at the stone statue of Gundam in the cave. Ten Tales. In the past few days, from his contact with Uchiha Madara, he had learned many unknown secrets in the ninja world. Wait for him Makoto, he will definitely save you. Uchiha Fugaku's eyes became firm. Then he left here with Ju. The cave where the Ten Tales stone statue and Uchiha Madara's body were left suddenly became quiet. I don't know how long it took. A soft cry sounded as if coming from the void. A ripple occurs in space. The illusory hand brought the lingering soul of Uchiha Madara's body into the Pure Land world. The illusory figure silently observed the Genin world. Only then did he realize that a lot of things had happened in the ninja world while he was sleeping. Shinigami. Virtual. The land of whirlpools that attracts souls. Tisk. After taking a nap, he traveled through time. Fortunately, the chakra of his two sons made him understand that this was indeed the ninja world. His eyes narrowed slightly and he said softly, It seems that we need to carefully observe the reasons for this change in the Genin world. Just after the sun has fully risen. 
The mobilization of the Ninja Alliance finally ended. The Ninja Alliance must win. The coalition will win. Humanity will win. Kill. Kill them all. The Ninja Coalition was excited, and endless roars sounded, shocking the hearts of the people. Everyone was shocked by this majestic momentum. Third K's cage sighed. With the power of the entire ninja world, how could we lose? At this moment, a clicking sound suddenly sounded in the sky above the ninja coalition. Clearly visible cracks instantly filled the sky. The sudden change caused the shouts of the ninja coalition to stop abruptly. Everyone looked up to the sky. Onoki, the second case cage, and Sarutobi Hiruzen, the third case cage, also looked up at the sky with solemn eyes. Is it coming? Under everyone's gaze, the sky suddenly exploded like broken glass. Pieces of transparent space debris fell. The blue sky was replaced by darkness. In the darkness, ten figures stood quietly. Behind them, there are densely packed inhuman monsters. Gudong. Some people in the Ninja Alliance couldn't help but swallow their saliva and their eyes widened. Although I have learned some information about Shu from the intelligence. But when they saw it with their own eyes, they couldn't help but feel shocked. This explosive appearance shocked their hearts instantly. Especially the densely packed virtual army with no end in sight made their scalp numb. When they saw Shu who was alone, they didn't feel anything yet. But when all the voids gathered together, they suddenly realized what kind of terrifying creature they were facing. And those monsters that were even bigger gave them a deep sense of oppression. As this the virtual army, everyone, the blood that was just aroused instantly cooled down. Stark glanced at the insect-like figure at his feet, and greeted in a lazy tone, Good morning, everyone. Have you given up on your preparations to die? One sentence made all the ninjas look at him angrily with bloodshot eyes. Stop looking at these monsters. That's right. Get us out of the ninja world quickly. The ninja world is not a place where you can run wild. Stark glanced at it and said, There are too many bugs, they are really annoying. So boring. After he finished speaking, he waved his hand. The Mano's Grandes behind him immediately understood what he meant. Opening his mouth, rows of red ray-like flashes were instantly released toward the ground. The ninja coalition froze on the spot, as if they didn't expect the attack to come so suddenly. Sarutobi Hiruzen stared and shouted hurriedly, Use defensive ninjutsu quickly. 900. Hearing Sarutobi Hiruzen's roar, the ninja coalition reacted. He used various defensive ninjutsu in a panic. Brilliant defensive ninjutsu such as water barrier and earth formation wall are superimposed on each other to form a thick defensive wall above their heads. Boom boom boom. The red beam hits the thick defensive ninjutsu. There were bursts of strong roaring sounds. A majestic pressure pressed on the ninjas through defensive ninjutsu, causing their bodies to sink immediately. The defensive ninjutsu was hit by a red flash, and a concave curve soon appeared. A shaky look. Seeing this, Zael Aporo Grants smiled evilly and shot Sero. Boom. Zael Aporo Grants' Sero was like the last straw for them. Boom. The thick defensive ninjutsu suddenly collapsed. Ah. The red Sero exploded instantly, and the ninja coalition suddenly screamed. The first battle between the virtual army and the ninja alliance. The ninja alliance suffered heavy losses. The embarrassment of the ninja coalition at this time made their pre-war mobilization look very ridiculous. Stark took out Dao's ears and said with a relaxed expression, it feels much better now. Onoki, the two-person scales, looked at the miserable state of the ninja coalition under the smoke, and his eyes were about to burst. He gritted his teeth and said, you don't have martial ethics. He actually showed up when their ninja coalition was mobilizing. He came up and gave them a heavy blow. Young people, don't talk about martial ethics. Ha, Stark glanced at him, as if he had heard something ridiculous. Don't talk about martial ethics. Old guy, the war has already begun. Stark raised his hand and pointed it at the two-dimensional scale Onoki. The blue beam of light instantly shot towards the two-dimensional scale Onoki. This ability again. The two-person scales Onoki's pupils shrank and he let out a low drink. Dust escape original realm peeling technique. Buzz. A square transparent barrier opens between the palms of two scales Onoki's hands. Then launch it with a bang. Head straight into the blue beam of light emitted by Stark. Boom. A terrifying explosion sounded in the sky, like huge fireworks exploding in the sky. Wisps of black smoke cover the sky. Wait until the smoke clears. Two scales Onoki and Stark look at each other from a distance. What an interesting ability. Stark chuckled and commented. Then he said. Leave this old man to me. As soon as he finished speaking, Stark used sound spin and disappeared in an instant. The Espadas beside him were also looking at the situation on the battlefield, seemingly looking for their own prey. Chapter 103 You don't think that Espada is only of this level, right? Tyr Haribel glanced around the ninja coalition, and then set his sights on Serutobi Hiruzen and Third Case Cage. Anyone with eyesight can see it. Serutobi Hiruzen, Third Case Cage and Two Scales Onoki are the leaders of this ninja alliance. Since Onoki was picked up by Coyote Stark, then the remaining two people should be the strongest, right? Tyr Haribel used sound spin and disappeared instantly. When he reappeared, he was already above Serutobi Hiruzen and Third Case Cage, and said, It's just you. Serutobi Hiruzen and Third Case Cage looked solemn and did not dare to be careless at all. Tyr Haribel pulled out the knife from his back, filled the hollow blade with spiritual power, pointed it at them and stabbed them straight. The spiritual energy shot out was as high speed as a cannonball, swooping straight towards Serutobi Hiruzen and the third case cage. 
The third case cage was about to use sand iron to defend. But even a piece of yellow sand blocked them first, intercepting the golden sword-like energy. Tyr Harabel had no expression on his face and just looked in another direction. In her sight, an old monk slowly walked over. Share the blessing. Third case cage called them by name. Monk sharing blessings. It is their respected master Sunagakar. Because he couldn't bear Shukaku's harm to Sunagakar, he took the initiative to become one-tail Jinchuriki and guard Shukaku until today. Ever since Master Fenfuku became one-tail Jinchuriki, there has never been an incident of Shukaku going berserk in Sunagakar. But because of Sunagakar's fear of Shukaku, he was still afraid that Shukaku would go on a rampage again one day, so he proposed to imprison Fenfu in prison. Fenfu did not refuse, but still agreed with a kind face. If it weren't for this war with the Hollow, and the Ninja Alliance needed Shukaku's power, I'm afraid Fenfu would have been imprisoned until he died of old age. Fenfu slowly came to Tyr Harabel, clasped his hands and said, This donor, let the poor monk be your opponent. There was a compassionate smile on Fenfu's face. He did not persuade Tyr Harabel to put down his butcher knife and become a Buddha immediately like an ordinary monk. Although he is a monk, he is not a pedantic monk. Before joining the Ninja Alliance, he also had a full understanding of creatures like Shu. Know that this creature feeds on humans. This natural antagonistic relationship makes it impossible for humans and virtual beings to coexist peacefully. So as a human being, he already has the answer in his heart. Tyr Harabel glanced at him, expressionless. To him, it doesn't matter who the opponent is. As long as the king's mission can be completed, that's all. She turned the knife in her hand and pointed it at Fenfu, and fired a golden blade-shaped energy again. Boom. Yellow sand rose up in front of Fenfu, intercepting Tyr Harabel's attack. Fenfu smiled and said, Master Case Cage, Master Hokage, please go help other ninjas. I will leave this place to the poor monk. Sarutobi Hiruzen hesitated, he wasn't sure if Fenfu could deal with the blonde woman in front of him. After all, these lies are not even evidence for eight tales. Third case cage did not hesitate at all. He still had some confidence in Fenfu's strength. This master is the perfect Jinchuriki who can be recognized by Shukaku and can use Shukaku's power. Let's go Hokage, there are more Espadas to deal with than this one. Third case cage's face was slightly cold, and he looked at Wukiora in the distance. He had been unhappy with Wukiora for a long time. Sarutobi Hiruzen also followed third case cage's gaze. When he met Wukiora, he understood what the third case cage was thinking. He sighed helplessly. Third case cage is still unwilling to give up. But Sarutobi Hiruzen knows very well that the third case cage is no match for Ulkiora. Even if he faces Ulkiora alone, she may not be his opponent. His eyes twinkled slightly. He recalled the panic that Ulkiora had brought to him on the day of the three-year meeting. Ulkiora matched the words that came out of his mouth as she touched his chest and head. Sarutobi Hiruzen felt as if his head and chest were really torn apart by him. It left a very deep impression on him. At the same time, it also made him understand how powerful Ulkiora was. That being the case, then leave this to one tail Jinchuriki. Compared to the guy in front of him who doesn't know her strength, the threat of Ulkiora in the distance is longer. Moreover, the Kingdom of Thunder has also shared information about Ulkiora to the Ninja Alliance. If he had placed the Black Flash that destroyed the Kingdom of Thunder here, the losses to the Ninja Alliance would have been even greater than in the episode just now. Thinking of this, Sarutobi Hiruzen said solemnly, Okay, let's deal with Ulkiora first. He had no intention of letting the third case cage fight alone. One on one, neither of them was a match for Ulkiora. So cooperation is a must. Third case cage obviously understands this truth. Although this makes him want to kill Ulkiora immediately. But he is also very aware of the gap between the two. This is also the purpose of calling Sarutobi Hiruzen. After the two people made their decision, they immediately used the body flicker technique and left here. Leave the battlefield completely to Tyr Harabel and Fenfu. Neither Tyr Harabel nor Fenfu paid attention to third case cage and Sarutobi Hiruzen. Just observing each other, based on Tyr Harabel's test just now, he already knows a little about the ability to share blessings. Sand. Tyr Harabel whispered softly, unlike others here, the guy in front of him doesn't seem to need to form seals when using this power. Tyr Harabel's green pupils flickered slightly. His eyes were deep, as if he could see another guy in Fenfu's body through his body. It was a mental world like a sewer. In that world, there is a civet cat with curse marks all over its body. Shukaku, who was taking a nap, was spied on and immediately opened his eyes. His eyes rolled around and met Tyr Harabel's green eyes. Shukaku's eyes widened, seeming a little unbelievable. This woman can actually see me. Shukaku's voice entered Fenfu's mind, making him slightly startled. Tyr Harabel said calmly, I see, it seems that your power comes from the big raccoon cat in your body. Santa, he opened his mouth, as if he wanted to explain something. Before he could say anything, the sand behind him condensed instantly, forming Shukaku's appearance. A uh, hash appeared vividly on Shukaku's face, and he roared, It's not a tanuki, it's a raccoon dog. Tyr Harabel was silent for a moment and asked doubtfully, Is there any difference? Of course there is a difference. Shukaku said angrily, The tanuki is a cat, and the road is a canine. Tyr Harabel, forget it, it doesn't matter what it is. Shukaku's eyes widened, This woman is so angry. Blessings, I want to be blessed with this woman. 
Fenfu shook his head helplessly, then clasped his hands together and said, Please be careful, donor. After the words fell, Fenfu took the lead in launching an attack. Soon a shigur, the sand instantly concentrated above Tyr Haribel, and then fell straight down like raindrops. Tyr Haribel twisted his body slightly, thinking that it was undetectable, and avoided the falling sand and landed it at his feet. But before she could fight back, the sand under her feet seemed to come alive, wrapping around her feet and binding her in place. Fenfu's eyes were calm and he did not miss this opportunity and launched another attack. Sand shurikens formed in the air, and were controlled by the Blessed Chakra to shoot towards Tyr Haribel. Tyr Haribel's face was calm, not at all flustered by being restrained. Raise the sword in your hand and drop the incoming sand shuriken. Shukaku said displeased ly, it's too soft to share the blessing, give him a hard move. Okay, okay. Fenfu smiled helplessly, and then shouted, sand-bound coffin. The sand near Tyr Haribel suddenly surged and crawled toward her quickly. Tyr Haribel's face was expressionless, and she exerted force on her feet before the sand came completely to her body. Bang! The sand that bound Tyr Haribel's feet was instantly shattered by her power. Fenfu's eyelids drooped. What a terrifying power! With only physical strength, he broke free from his sand shackles. A leopard can be seen in the tube. If this kick hits him, I'm afraid he will have to meet Sage of Six Paths. After all, he was already old and frail, and his fragile body could no longer withstand too much power. Of course, as long as Shukaku is here, no one will be able to encounter him. Of course, Shukaku knew what Fenfu was thinking and replied arrogantly. Fenfu smiled inwardly. The bond between him and Shukaku is enough to handle anything. At this moment, Tyr Haribel, who broke free from the shackles of the sand, moved away from the range of the sand. Suddenly, he came to Fenfu. With Fenfu's reaction nerve, it is impossible to react. But Shukaku is obviously not a vegetarian. The sand was immediately condensed in front of Fenfu, forming a sand shield. Clang! Tyr Haribel slashed the sand with his knife, but there was a crisp sound. It was like being chopped on a thick piece of steel. Tyr Haribel raised his eyebrows slightly, as if he didn't expect that the sand would have such amazing defensive power. Hey hey! Shukaku smirked. Tyr Haribel suddenly felt bad. Why? Soon, Tyr Haribel understood where the trouble came from. Her feet were filled with sand at some point. Sand-bound coffin. The sand-bound coffin attack that failed just now was continued by Shukaku. Compared with Fenfu, Shukaku's speed at controlling sand is obviously not a fraction faster. Tyr Haribel had no time to react and was covered in sand. Boom. Inside the sand, Tyr Haribel hit it with his body. Shukaku's eyes widened. The sand-bound coffin is actually shaking. Shukaku clicked his tongue. How strong is this woman? It had no doubt that if it gave this woman a few more blows, she might be able to break free from the sand-bound coffin. But it obviously won't give Tyr Haribel that chance. Shukaku laughed proudly and said, Sand waterfall funeral. As soon as the words fell, the pressure of the sand restraining Tyr Haribel suddenly increased, squeezing her body crazily. Listen carefully. If so, you can even hear the bones creaking. Ha 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 ha, Shukaku didn't hide his joy at all and burst into laughter. And this laughter also attracted the attention of others. Sarutobi Hiruzen looked over and quickly saw the situation clearly. I understand that the blonde woman just now was probably trapped by Shukaku's sand. I couldn't help but said in surprise, you solved an espada so quickly. It is indeed Sunagakar's perfect jinchuriki. He breathed a sigh of relief at the same time. It seems that not all espada are as powerful as Ulkiora. That's fine. It seems that even without the support of the Whirlpool Kingdom, this war is destined to be their victory. Third case cage was stunned for a moment. Obviously I didn't expect Shukaku's battle to end so quickly. But he soon puffed out his chest. Great job, Master Fenfu. Really give them Sunagakar face. Even the ninjas of the Ninja Alliance shouted loudly after seeing Fenfu killing a figure who seemed to be the leader of the virtual army. Okay, Zhao Er. They didn't care that Shukaku was still the captain they once feared. Shukaku. Too strong Shukaku. As expected of a tailed beast. Destroy the enemy leader effortlessly. Shukaku had never experienced such a battle before. Before, he had either been yelled at or scolded by humans. This is the first time to cheer for it. Hiss. This kind of feeling can't be poked by a needle. The nervousness in the two-person scales Onoki finally eased, and he said with a smile. It seems that your companion will die in that sand soon. Coyote Stark shrugged, not affected at all, and said, You don't think that this is the only thing that can be called a spada, do you? After a few seconds, the huge wave disappeared. Wow. The mask on the lower half of Tyr Haribel's face disappeared, revealing his true face. Hiss. Shukaku's eyes widened, transformed. Yun. Onoki, the two-person scale, was stunned for a moment, then hurriedly looked in Shukaku's direction. What's flowing out of the sand isn't blood, so why is it water? Huge waves emerged like heart-shaped pearls and clams, enveloping Tyr Haribel. Just listen to the sound of a sudden surge of waves inside the sand. At this time, Shukaku also clearly noticed something was wrong. Bang! At this moment, Tyr Haribel's cold voice came from the sand. The mask becomes like a bikini dress, with mask armor attached to the neck, hands, feet, shoulders, and mermaid lines. The hairstyle becomes a short hedgehog hair. Conquer him, Queen Shark. There are two long shark fin-like decorations on the back, and the weapon becomes a giant sword with waist patterns. 
She has dark blue lightning-shaped tattoos on her cheeks, and the, three, tattoo on her right chest disappears, and her attire changes into a short skirt revealing a swimsuit-like armor. The huge water pressure broke through the sand-bound coffin. Chapter 104 Complete Shukaku, a battle that changes the terrain. Interesting for you. The seven most famous plus-size models in the world. More. 413. 103. 138. Tier Harabel's unharmed appearance immediately made everyone present wide-eyed. What's the situation? Didn't he just want to kill her? You could clearly hear the sound of bones being crushed in the sand, but the people inside didn't do anything at all. And it seems to be getting stronger. The ninja coalition was dumbfounded. But Shu is not used to them, and still has time to watch the show. One of the Ajukas bit directly at a ninja. Ah. Soon, they were awakened by the continuous screams, and then they realized that they were still in the middle of a battle. For two days, Onoki's eyes were frozen. Really? It is simply impossible to kill a spada so easily. Sarutobi Hiruzen was also a little disappointed. Apparently, a spada is a spada. If Shukaku was killed so easily, how could he be ranked among the thousand swordsmen? As expected, I was carried away by Shukaku's laughter just now. I thought I was sure of victory. The most embarrassing thing is third K's cage. I happened to be quite proud, but I was immediately slapped in the face. However, third K's cage is still very confident in Fenfu. According to intelligence, he knew that these so-called Espadas all possess a second form. Shukaku's ability to force out Tier Haribel's second form so quickly also proves Shukaku's power. And once the second form comes out, it proves that Tier Haribel no longer has any trump cards. The advantage lies with Shukaku. Shukaku looked at the greatly changed Tier Haribel with his eyes, and could clearly feel that her aura was much stronger than before. But it doesn't matter. You don't really think that you can touch the porcelain tailed beast after changing your body, do you? What's more, it's the strongest tailed beast. Shukaku snorted coldly and said, Share the blessings, let's go. Fenfu smiled and was not depressed because of the failure of an attack. 347, of course, he also had some calculations in mind. His body could withstand the pressure of Shukaku Sanako, but he didn't want to take a hit. Layers of yellow sand floated around Fenfu's body, and with a wave of his hand, a large amount of yellow sand hit Tier Haribel heavily. Tier Haribel calmly lifted the shark and slashed at the incoming yellow sand. Wow, a large amount of water appeared out of thin air and collided with the yellow sand. Water splashes everywhere, the water flow and the yellow sand are stagnant in midair. But as time passed, the water of Tier Haribel seeped into Shukaku's yellow sand. Bang bang, the yellow sand penetrated by water aggravated and fell off on the ground, making a dull sound. Shukaku narrowed his eyes, this woman is not compatible with him. He is actually an expert in playing with water. Once its sand absorbs a large amount of water, it will be difficult to control. In particular, Tier Haribel can still destroy its yellow sand internally by controlling the water in the sand. Tisk, Shukaku clicked his tongue in displeasure. As expected, all the yellow sand that had been penetrated by the water fell to the ground. Those who have transformed are different. Shukaku curled his lips, and then said, Fengfu, let's transform too. Fenfu still had his trademark smile on his face and showed no resistance to Shukaku's proposal. Before becoming one tail Jinchuriki, he was just an ordinary monk after all. He had no training at all in fighting. Therefore, he has no experience at all in combat. He is also self-aware of this, so he never refuses Shukaku's advice in battle. Professional matters should be left to professionals. But Shukaku has a problem, that is, he is playful. Alas, I hope Shukaku can understand the seriousness of the matter. What is at stake this time is the life and death of the entire ninja world. Shukaku could naturally feel Fenfu's worries, and said proudly, Don't worry, I am the strongest tailed beast. There won't be any surprises. Fenfu said helplessly, Okay, okay. As soon as he finished speaking, his right half of his body instantly turned into a giant hand of sand. He grabbed Tyr Haribel with one hand. Tyr Haribel mused. To be honest, the expression of this guy's ability is almost the same as that of her queen shark. It controls sand, and Tyr Haribel controls water. Perhaps she could completely replicate the performance of the guy in front of her. Just do what comes to mind. The water instantly enveloped Tyr Haribel's arms. Forming a giant claw made of water. I see. Tyr Haribel was thoughtful, and then the giant hand controlling the sand collided with Shukaku's. Shukaku was dumbfounded, ye actually dared to plagiarize your uncle Shukaku's ideas. Shukaku was immediately angry, he shouted. Quicksand waterfall. Tyr Haribel staggered slightly, and the ground beneath his feet suddenly shook. Like an earth dragon surging. Yellow sand spread across the entire battlefield, and streams of yellow sand surged out from the ground beneath your feet. The sudden change shocked everyone on the battlefield. The environment has been changed. Gudong. Seeing this ability to change the terrain and environment for the first time made all the ninjas on the battlefield swallow their saliva. I am so shocked. Is this the power of the tail beast? A ninja said tremblingly. I have witnessed with my own eyes the power of one tail Shukaku to change the terrain in an instant. Finally let them understand why humans fear the power of tailed beasts. I also understand why ninja villages use tail beasts as their strongest weapons to intimidate the ninja world. They don't know how powerful the other tail beasts are. But looking at the leopard, one tail Shukaku can easily change the nearby terrain. Are other tailed beasts weak? 
They suppressed their fear of the tailed beasts, and instead felt excited and excited. Because the tailed beasts are now on their side. With such power, how could they lose? Shukaku's great power filled them with confidence in victory. For a time, the morale of the ninja alliance surged. Third case cage also breathed a sigh of relief and smiled. Shukaku, you are finally getting serious. Coyote Stark was a little surprised. Oh, tailed beasts can actually do this. After being recruited by the king, he was different from others and chose to learn about the world's intelligence. Therefore, he has some understanding of creatures like tailed beasts. However, the intelligence was limited and not much information was obtained. Therefore, when this ability to change the terrain appeared, he was somewhat surprised. Also, Onoki, the two-person scale, captured the key words. My heart sank. There is definitely some hidden message in this word. Is it possible that there are beings in Espada who can do this? He suppressed this doubt in his heart for the time being and looked at the battle between Shukaku and Tyr Haribel again. After changing the terrain, Shukaku's attack was not over yet and he shouted angrily. Sand Waterfall Burial. The yellow sand on the ground is like a sea, setting off a row of giant yellow sand waves, covering the sky and the sun, sweeping over. Shukaku said proudly. Ha ha ha, now you have seen how powerful Shukaku is. I don't believe it, you can plagiarize this move. Tyr Haribel looked strange and said, first of all, I really didn't plagiarize. Secondly, I do have similar moves. Quote question mark quote. Shukaku's eyes flashed with confusion. Soon, Tyr Haribel was seen waving the queen shark down. Wow. A giant waterfall falling from the sky continuously hits the endless yellow sand. The terrain that had just been transformed into yellow sand was instantly covered by the vast ocean. The huge waves generated by the impact with the ground slammed back the yellow sand that swept away. Gudong. The terrain was changed again, shocking all the ninjas in the ninja alliance. Even some ninjas who did not respond in time were directly swallowed by this vast sea. Dot dot dot. If the tail beast can do it, they can still bear it. B. How on earth could this woman with a body shape similar to theirs do it? Could this guy be a tail beast in human skin? This. This is unscientific. Third case cage was also shocked, with a hint of bitterness rising from the corner of his mouth. Sure enough, there can be no weaklings in Espada. Onoki's eyes widened, and he finally understood who Coyote Stark was talking about. Shukaku's eyes widened and he said angrily, Damnable woman. In the distance, Nine Tails, who saw Shukaku's appearance through Uzumaki Mito's eyes, laughed. Shukaku, you are still as clown as ever. Under the spotlight, Shukaku couldn't bear it anymore. Fenfu's body was instantly covered with yellow sand. In an instant, a huge civet cat appeared on the battlefield. Everyone's eyes were dull. Seeing the complete tail beast up close for the first time made their eyes feel a little weak. An unspeakable fear spread in my heart. Third case cage's expression changed drastically. No, if Shukaku uses all his strength here, the ninja alliance may also be threatened. When Serutobi Hiruzen heard this, his eyes suddenly became serious. But it is obvious that Shukaku, who has been completely angered by Tyr Haribel, no longer cares about the safety of humans. It has only one purpose now, and that is to tear the woman in front of it into pieces with its own hands. Tyr Haribel's expression did not change. Shukaku did not feel alarmed by Shukaku's change. Instead, he muttered, the little tanuki has turned into a big tanuki. Although Tyr Haribel spoke very softly, Shukaku, with his sensitive hearing, heard these words clearly. It's not a civet cat, it's Luo. The angry Shukaku roared, wind-style practice blank bullets. A giant air cannon of high-density chakra was spat towards Tyr Haribel. The newly formed sea was divided into two parts along the trajectory of the air cannon. The terrifying cyclone stirred up waves on the sea surface. The ninja who was slightly closer could not withstand the huge wind force of the blank bullet and was instantly released. Tyr Haribel remained motionless and unaffected. After calmly lifting the shark, water flowed out of its fin-like serrations. Dot dot dot. Zong Yun. Bang. Giant water bombs are used to face empty bombs head on. You can read more daily new novels on fictionzone.net. Both sites shared the same login details so you don't need to sign up again. Chapter 105 Wilkiora, Are You Afraid? Interesting for you. The seven most famous plus-size models in the world. More. 90. 23. 30. The giant water bomb collided with Shukaku's air bomb. But Tyr Haribel looks very petite against the backdrop of Shukaku training blank ammunition. Shukaku sneered. How dare you go head to head with my blank bullets with such a gadget. But soon, Shukaku shut his mouth. The moment when the water bomb fired by Tyr Haribel collided with its empty missile. The water bomb suddenly expanded, and for a moment Shukaku's air bomb suppressed it. The rice bombarded Shukaku with all its remaining strength. Shukaku, who had grown bigger at this time, became a huge target in the eyes of Tyr Haribel. Shukaku raised a piece of yellow sand to intercept the incoming water bill. But Tyr Haribel continued to use the queen shark to release water bombs, and dense water bombs hit Shukaku from the sky. Shukaku controlled the yellow sand to form an arc-shaped sand shield above his head. Bang bang bang. Countless giant water bombs hit the sand shield. At the moment of contact, the rice plants swelled up instantly. Turned into giant water pillars. The sand shield was instantly soaked with water without even noticing it. The sand invaded by water suddenly became heavy. It fell to the ground with a thud. 
revealing Shukaku's appearance. Shukaku's eyes widened as a rain of water bullets fell from the sky again. Boom. Shukaku's figure was instantly submerged by the endless water. The sand on my body was constantly washed away. Make him smaller and smaller. Hateful. Shukaku screamed and roared angrily. Wind-style infinite dust great breakthrough. The words fell. A huge storm instantly rose near Shukaku. The yellow sand swept across the sky and expanded to several kilometers away in an instant. Block the sight of everyone on the battlefield and prevent them from seeing the direction of the enemy. What's the situation? What happened again? The ninjas couldn't help but exclaimed, panicking at the sudden change. But they also knew that this yellow sand should be Shukaku's masterpiece. Because Shukaku is the only one on the entire battlefield who can control this level of yellow sand. But this move obviously injures the enemy by 1000 and damages himself by 800. Of course it was not Shukaku who was harmed, but the other ninjas who were suffering. Their sight was obscured by the yellow sand, but their enemies seemed unaffected by the yellow sand's people. He can always find their direction accurately and attack them. It's like adding a negative status of blindness to them. Put them into a difficult situation. Even third case cage, Sarutobi Hiruzen and two scales Onoki's expressions changed drastically. Understand how serious the impact this yellow sand has had on them. Third case cage looked gloomy. After all, it was one tail Shukaku from their hidden sand village who caused this situation. But this is the price of using the power of the tailed beast. Otherwise, if a war breaks out between their ninja villages, there won't be an unspoken rule that tail beasts are not allowed to be used except in extreme circumstances. Because the consequence of using the power of the tail beast is that both parties will pay a heavy price. Once the tail beast is released, not everyone can bear the consequences of its rampage. But even if the ninja alliance knows that this situation is inevitable, they will definitely feel resentment towards their sand-hidden village after the war is over. Tisk, it would be nice if Shukaku wasn't the first one to make a move. Shoot the first bird. Shukaku took the lead. When another tailed beast carries out such indiscriminate attacks in the future, people will only blame Shukaku. Within Shukaku's body, Fenfu's eyes also became obviously anxious. Because of his status as a perfect helper, Fenfu will not fall into a deep sleep like Gara in the original work. So I have a clear understanding of the situation in front of me. If Shukaku continues to be so unscrupulous, I'm afraid the consequences will be disastrous. He informed Shukaku of his thoughts, but this time he received no response from Shukaku. In fact, Shukaku knew in his heart that this was a move that did not distinguish between friends and foes, but he did not care at all about the situation of the ninja coalition. Although at this moment he stands on a united front with mankind because of sharing blessings. But he never said that he and humans were companions. He still hates humans. That's why I don't care about their life or death. The only thing he wants to do now is to use his own sand to drown the woman in front of him. Let her understand what the true strength of the strongest tailed beast is. Show me your moves, Shukaku shouted. The yellow sand in the sky formed a strong sandstorm and swept towards Tyr Haribel. Hoo hoo hoo. The harsh hurricane scratched Tyr Haribel's skin, leaving white marks. Although she is a virtual person, Yaharibel's physical strength is much stronger. But after becoming Arankar, in order to gain more power, Tyr Haribel gave up the ability of steel skin without hesitation. So he doesn't have steel like skin like other hollows. If he stays in the scope of this sandstorm for a long time, Tyr Haribel's body may not be able to bear it sooner or later. Scorching sea current, Tyr Haribel shouted lightly. Raise the queen shark on your hand. Buzz. Endless steam surges from the tip of queen shark's sword. Boom. The sandstorm is intercepted by steam, and the high temperature melts the sand instantly. Make a chirping sound. Endless steam surrounds Tyr Haribel, protecting her from sandstorms. After Tyr Haribel solved the crisis of sandstorm, she raised the queen shark on her hand. A golden stream of light circulated on the emperor shark queen's sword. Tyr Haribel shouted softly. Trident missed Halberd. After finishing his words, Tyr Haribel turned towards Shukaku's direction. Poof! Shukaku's eyes suddenly widened, and the huge body was instantly cut into two pieces, turning into a pile of yellow sand and falling to the ground. Only two eyes were left, looking at Tyr Haribel in disbelief. When, Shukaku couldn't help but exclaim in his heart. He didn't even see anything coming at him before his body was chopped into two pieces. And he was so far away from Tyr Haribel, but Tyr Haribel's sword swing struck him directly as if there was no delay. What on earth is it? Shukaku was secretly shocked. But he is not worried at all about his current state. Even though it was shocking to see him cut in half, as long as the tailed beast's chakra was not destroyed instantly, they would not die on the spot. Tailed beasts are, after all, creatures of condensed chakra. Shukaku slowly controlled the yellow sand to reassemble his body. But Tyr Haribel won't just watch him recover. Tyr Haribel's hand is graceful with the golden light of Queen Shark. Golden energy charge, Tyr Haribel shouted, Saro. The next second, the accumulated golden energy was unleashed by Tyr Haribel into a large area of fan-shaped golden energy. Boom. Shukaku's eyes widened, and he cursed in his heart for not practicing martial ethics. Then I was completely engulfed in the golden flash. Boom. Violent explosions resounded throughout the space. The seawater covering the earth suddenly set off huge waves. The yellow sand all over the sky dissipated under the impact of the explosion. Revealing the scene where Tyr Haribel and Shukaku fight. Everyone's eyes were not only attracted by the strong movement here. 
When they saw Tyr Harabel standing proudly in the sky and a large pool of scattered yellow sand on the sea, their eyes widened immediately. Where's one tail? Some people kept looking for Shukaku. How could a body that was so big just now disappear? The smart people stared at the large pile of yellow sand at the feet of Tyr Harabel, and an ominous guess came to their minds. Could that piece of yellow sand be one tail Shukaku? Some people couldn't help but express their speculations, which immediately made the ninjas feel shocked. Gudong. No, it can't be. They couldn't believe it, but they couldn't help but agree with this statement in their hearts. After all, a body as big as Shukaku couldn't just disappear. Bay. Shukaku transformed back into Jinchuriki. Thinking of this, they not only scanned the area around Tyr Harabel, looking for Fenfu's figure. No, no, still not. In that battlefield, except for Tyr Harabel, who was in favor of the sky, there was no one left. Only the yellow sand left traces of Shuhei's past. XJ. Despair rose in their hearts. No matter how unwilling they were, they couldn't help but disbelieve the facts before them. Shouhyuk is probably really. Even the tailed beasts that are feared in the world. They focused on Tyr Harabel, and then looked at the Espadas at the same level as her. One of them had already killed Shukaku. Then wouldn't everyone else be able to compete with the tailed beasts? In the distance, Onoki's face was ashen. The moment he lost Shukaku's figure, he had already subconsciously acquiesced in Shukaku's death. Dot dot dot. Please give me flowers. Although the existence of Espada has been imagined to be powerful enough, he even used tailed beasts to compete with them. But Shukaku's defeat so quickly still surprised him. In his opinion, even if Shuhei cannot win Tyr Harabel, he can definitely maintain a stalemate for a while. As long as you can successfully hold down an Espada, it's not a loss. Although Shukaku's power was lost here, the Shu side also lost a top combat power. A one-to-one -one swap never loses to them. But he never expected that Shukaku would look so useless against the background of Tyr Harabel. Not even the Tailed Beast's signature Tailed Beast bomb was fired. What to do now? The Ninja Alliance's Tailed Beasts were already insufficient, and now they lost another Shukaku. The dead four tails, the two tails captured by the hollow, the three tails and the six tails are within the influence of the Kingdom of Whirlpool, and are in the position of the Kingdom of Water. And eight tails, which just took a big hit. After this calculation, the tailed beast has lost four and a half of its power. The opposite side has all kinds of soil. Are we going to let nine tails go one against ten? It doesn't seem impossible, I heard that nine tails can take on the other eight tailed beasts. Maybe they really have the power to save the building from falling. Of course, we can't put all our hopes on nine tails. Third case cage's expression changed slightly. Shohei's rapid defeat obviously caught him off guard. Just. Isn't Gang Shuhei still very confident? Why did he suddenly lose in the blink of an eye? Didn't this change happen too fast? Fortunately, third case cage did not see Fenfu's body, which made him relieved. If the tailed beast dies, then the tailed beast Jinchuriki's blessing will not be spared. But since Fenfu's body did not appear, it proves that Shukaku may still be alive. Of course, there is another possibility. That is, Shukaku and Fuin were directly annihilated by Tyr Harabel with the golden light, leaving not even a body behind. But after all, it still leaves a little hope. Third case cage prayed silently in his heart, hoping that Shohei would be okay. In his heart, he didn't think Shukaku died so simply. Case cage. Suddenly, Sarutobi Hiruzen's voice pulled him back. The alarm bell suddenly sounded in my heart, a sense of fatal threat flooded into my brain, and my heart beat faster and faster. His body subconsciously turned to one side, but it was still a second too late. Hiss. Third case cage felt a sudden pain in his shoulder. A green light gun tore his left arm apart and hit a hill behind him with all its strength. Boom. The green light gun hit the mountain, producing a violent explosion so powerful that the entire ground trembled. Third case cage screamed and covered his broken arm where blood was flowing. His face became ferocious, and he gritted his teeth to prevent himself from screaming. His eyes suddenly became bloodshot, and the tearing pain from his broken arm crazily stimulated his brain. Third case cage stared at Wukiora fiercely, the hatred in his eyes seemed to be about to overflow. Although it was the first time for Third Case Cage and Sarutobi Hiruzen to see this appearance, they had some understanding of it through the information sent from the Land of Thunder. What's even more impressive is the pair of wings on his back that can cover the sky. If Sarutobi Hiruzen hadn't reminded him just now, giving him time to react. He wears a white jumpsuit, a two-horned helmet, and his black nails turn into long claws. Third Case Cage and Sarutobi Hiruzen suddenly felt awe in their hearts. Not only did he look at the mountain that had been raised to the ground, his heart became even heavier. In addition, the hair seems to be getting longer and the tear stains are getting darker and thicker. When the third case cage saw the appearance of that mountain, while his hatred for Ulkiora deepened, he couldn't help but feel happy in his heart. When I think of this, I feel cold and cold, and the black raindrops that kept falling from the sky at this time. I'm afraid it wasn't just his arms that were buried with the mountain. At this time, Ulkiora's appearance was completely different from when they first met. Can just a casual blow create such power? The battle with Ulkiora should never be taken lightly again. Sarutobi Hiruzen's face was solemn, is it this state that defeated eight tails? Wukiora said expressionlessly, are you afraid? Aspada, they are indeed unreasonable beings. Chapter 106 If this is all your power, you can die. Third case cage and Sarutobi Hiruzen were shocked. The next second, Wukiora's figure was seen disappearing. 
When he reappeared, he was already in front of Third Case Cage. Wukiora held a green light gun and slashed at Third Case Cage's neck. Third Case Cage's hair suddenly stood up as he quickly formed seals with one hand. Magnet-style sand iron shield. Hula. Countless sand and iron suddenly spread around the Third Case Cage. Under the control of the Third Case Cage chakra, the sand and iron instantly condensed into a hard shield. A choking sound. The green lightsaber swung heavily on the black iron shield, making a crisp sound. Wukiora's face was expressionless, showing no emotion at all because he was blocked from this episode. It's just that the strength in my hands has increased again. A clearly visible dent instantly appeared on the sand iron shield, and it began to tremble violently. Third case cage's pupils shrank, and the black iron shield began to be densely covered with cracks. Kaka. The sound of cracking was clearly captured by him. The next moment, the black sand iron shield suddenly shattered. The green light gun slashed straight at his neck. Kai. The sound of flesh being torn apart sounded. Third case cage's neck was violently severed. But Wukiora did not focus on him. Instead, she turned her head and looked in another direction. Soon, the body pierced by the green light gun turned into grains of sand and fell to the ground. Sand iron clone. The figure of third case cage appeared from another direction, with a rather dignified color. When he realized that his killing iron shield was about to collapse, he secretly formed a seal early and left a clone there. But what he didn't expect from 570 was that Wukiora was very sharp. Almost without hesitation, he discovered the anomaly of his Iron Sand clone and captured his figure immediately. This guy, as expected, he is much stronger than when we first met. Just because he changed his form. At this time, Sarutobi Hirazan, who had been observing for a long time, also launched an attack. Fire style Howlong fire technique. Sarutobi Hirazan formed a seal with his hands, and a huge fire dragon spit out from his mouth. Call. The hot breath hit my face instantly. Wukiora did not hide or evade, but calmly raised his left hand. Making a move instantly made Serutobi Hirazan's eyes widen. I have a ridiculous guess in my mind. Could it be that he wanted to? Boom. The fire dragon hit Wukiora's left hand without any surprise, and could no longer move forward. Wukiora's face was expressionless, and the flames of this level could not cause any harm to it at all. With a gentle force of his left hand, he immediately crushed the fire dragon. Fire splashed around him. His expressionless face looked particularly indifferent under the firelight. Gudong. Witnessing his own fire dragon being easily crushed by Wukiora without even leaving a single scratch on his body. This situation made Serutobi Hirazan couldn't help but feel frightened. Is there really a physical body that can do this? He couldn't help but have questions in his heart. Having lived in the human world for such a long time, he has seen a lot of weird things, but this is the first time he has seen Ukiora's physical form. Even Senju Hashirama, known as the god of ninja, and Uchiha Madara, the shira of the ninja world, cannot block a ninjutsu with their physical body alone. Although they are powerful, they have never broken away from the category of human beings. Even if Nine Tails eats a fire style, the hair on his body will still be burnt. Therefore, Wukiora's ability to achieve this level with her own body gave him a huge shock. It's as if some of the common sense in the ninja world in my mind is on the verge of collapse. Not to mention Serutobi Hirazan, third case cage was so frightened. At the last meeting place of the third camp, Wukiora took his sand iron cone with his bare hands, which was outrageous enough. But after all, his iron killing all is still in the category of physical attacks. It's understandable that he could forcibly accept his iron killing all based only on his strength and physical strength. But, this is fire style. It's a fire attack, even if your physical body is strong and powerful, the high temperature of the flame cannot be prevented by these alone. This guy's physical body is a little too outrageous. If even ninjutsu can't work, then what else can break through his defense? Serutobi Hirazan was also lost in thought. If fire attacks are ineffective, can other attacks be effective? He buried this suspicion deeply in his heart, and his eyes became firm again. In any case, you can only know if you try it. Serutobi Hirazan once again formed the hand seal. Earth-style Earth Dragon Bomb. As the words fell, a brown dragon head rose up next to Serutobi Hirazan. The giant dragon opened its mouth, and white light gathered in its mouth. The next moment, spit out dense soil bombs. The sound of scraping the air sounded one after another. Ulkiola's face remained calm, and he seemed not to take Serutobi Hirazan's earth style seriously. He just gently raised his hand and pointed his finger on the soil bomb that was about to fall on him. A few bangs. The soil bomb shattered instantly. What's worrying is that the movements of his hands clearly look very slow but all the earth bombs that came over were smashed into pieces. This strength once again shocked Serutobi Hirazan and Third Case Cage. Serutobi Hirazan attacked again without believing in evil. Ninjutsu with various attributes was at his fingertips. Water-style water dragon bomb. Wind-style cyclone. Lightning-style thunder. A giant water dragon swooped down from the sky, and a beam of thunder spread from the ground, crawling straight towards Ukiora. In the middle, a fierce whirlwind swept away. Seeing this, Third Case Cage was not to be outdone. One hand seal, magnet style sand and iron scatter. With an angry shout, the sand and iron, like mist, rushed straight towards Ukiora. Ukiora's eyes moved slightly, looking at the attacks from all sides. 
He first threw the green light gun head in his hand, directly piercing the giant water dragon in the sky, turning into puddles of water and falling to the ground. Then he slapped his right hand forward, and the terrifying cyclone was instantly blown away by him. When the thunder and lightning jumped out from under the ground, Ukiora stepped lightly and exerted force. Snap! There was a sound like breaking glass. The thick lightning was crushed by him. Sarutobi Hiruzen opened his mouth, dumbfounded. An unspeakable complex emotion arose in my heart. The ninjutsu he had studied diligently for so many years was no match for the palms and kicks of the man in front of him. Frustration set in, but the fighting situation on the scene did not give him time to feel sad. Although Sarutobi Hiruzen's three ninjutsu had no effect, they also succeeded in leaving Wukiora no extra time to defend against the third case cage's attack. Third case cage's face was filled with joy, and he became uncontrollably excited as he watched the mist-like sand iron penetrate into Ukiora's body. Haha! Ha, I got it! Sarutobi Hiruzen was slightly confused. None of his three ninjutsu had any effect. Why did third case cage look so happy? Ukiora turned to stare at him. This time, there was no longer any fear in third case cage's eyes. Instead, he looked at Ukiora as if he were looking at a dead person. Sarutobi Hiruzen met him and asked curiously, What did you just do? Third case cage crossed his arms and snorted. My sand and iron scattering can turn into particles as fine as mist, penetrate into the enemy's body from the outside, and then destroy him from the inside. He looked like he was taking care of Ukiora, and said proudly, You must have been able to feel the strangeness in your body at this time. He stared at Ukiora with hatred in his eyes, as if he wanted to witness the tragic image of his death with his own eyes. He gently touched the broken arm, his expression suddenly became ferocious, and he said crazily, Soon, you will feel your heart being crushed. Heart. The expression that had remained unchanged for ten thousand years finally changed on Ukiora's face. He raised his hand and placed his palm on the place where he made his chest. He said softly, If it's really possible, I really want to experience how it feels to feel my heart being crushed. Ha. Third case cage's face froze in place, having no idea what Wukiora was talking about. How could anyone want to experience the feeling of having their heart crushed? He must be bluffing. Do you want to relieve the fear in your heart in this way? HMPH. Wishful thinking. Wukiora murmured. What would it feel like to have your heart crushed? What kind of emotion would fear be? If you are interested, I really want to try it. Unfortunately, I don't have such a thing as a heart. Third case cage sneered, as if he heard the most ridiculous joke in the world. As long as it is a living thing, how can it not have a heart? Third case cage's eyes turned cold, not wanting to give Wukiora any more time to talk nonsense. He raised his remaining right hand and stretched it in the direction of Wukiora. The veins on his arm popped out and he squeezed hard. Boom! A dull sound suddenly came from Wukiora's body, and his left chest suddenly bulged, as if something was launching a fierce attack on him. Ha ha ha! Seeing the changes in Wukiora's body, third case cage laughed crazily. So what if his body is like steel, as long as he attacks from the inside and tears his internal organs, he can still be killed. He didn't believe that Wukiora's internal organs could be as hard as his body. Sarutobi Hiruzen relaxed after hearing third case cage's explanation. There was also some sigh in my heart. The third case cage is worthy of being called the strongest case cage ever in Hidden Sand Village. This kind of move is really hard to guard against. I am afraid that anyone who falls victim to the third case cage will only die. Even he, the strongest Hokage, is no exception. But the biggest difference between them and Ukiora is that they will not let this ability succeed easily. Because they know the fragility of their own internal organs. On the other hand, Ukiora didn't seem to be prepared for moves like third case cage for some unknown reason. But that's fine too, they were finally able to kill an Espada. Sarutobi Hiruzen said easily, it's over. But a few seconds later, Ukiora was still standing there intact. The expressions on the faces of third case cage and Sarutobi Hiruzen were a little tense. What's going on? Sarutobi Hiruzen wondered. You mean destroying his body from the inside? Physical. Why is he still standing here fine? Third case cage was a little embarrassed. In fact, he didn't know very well. The attack has obviously worked. He muttered to himself, and then pretended to be relaxed and said, It's okay, maybe I didn't hit his vital points, wait until I do it again. After the words fell, third case cage waved his palm again. To be cautious, this time he did not focus on just one part of the heart, but destroyed every part of Wukiora's body with sand and iron. Therefore, Wukiora's body bulged from time to time, as if there was someone living inside who was constantly hammering down the inside of his body. But soon, with the movements of Third Case Cage, the relaxed expressions of Third Case Cage and Sarutobi Hiruzen no longer existed. Instead, there was a solemn look on his face. Why? Why isn't Ukiora dead yet? Third Case Cage roared in his heart, staring at the expressionless Ukiora. Not to mention the signs of death, he couldn't even see a trace of pain on Ukiora's face. What went wrong? What went wrong? Third Case Cage kept roaring in his heart, unable to believe that his confident attack had no effect on Ukiora. Monster. Third Case Cage stared and said these two words with trembling lips. 0.9 How can a normal person still be alive and look calm when his internal organs are attacked? Sarutobi Hiruzen felt heavy. Monster. I remembered Ukiora's muttering before. A monster without a heart. This is not only a lack of heart, but also the absence of any internal organs, right? 
In other words, could this guy's internal organs be as hard as steel? Impossible. But if it is a monster, it is not impossible. After all, isn't Shu a kind of monster? It's just that the human-like image of the guy in front of them gave them the illusion that this guy was a human. He is a monster to begin with. OXDXDX. The third case cage is incompetent and furious, and unbelievingly controls the sand iron in Ulkiora's body to attack crazily. Ulkiora said calmly, You really can't let me experience the feeling of my heart being crushed. His tone seemed full of disappointment. Ulkiora has allowed the third case cage to attack for so long, just because she wants to know if he can make him understand what the heart is like. DM. Ulkiora grew cold again. Human, is this all your power? The moment the words fell, third case cage was suddenly startled. Shati's control is broken. Immediately afterwards, his eyes widened and he saw a horrifying scene. I saw densely packed sand and iron-like black mist crawling out from the empty hole under Ulkiora's neck, and falling at Ulkiora's feet one by one. If this is all your power, then you can already die. Chapter 107 Feng Ying, I can't do anything. If this is all your power, then you can already die. Ulkiora spoke coldly and disappeared in the next moment. Third case cage's pupils shrank suddenly, and a shadow suddenly appeared in front of his eyes. He subconsciously raised his head, met Ulkiora's emotionless green eyes, and felt a chill in his heart. Ulkiora raised his hand, pointed his index finger at third case cage's chest, and a black light flashed from his fingertips. The hairs on third case cage's body suddenly stood up, his temples jumped fiercely, and his heart went crazy with warning. Will die. Third case cage's eyes trembled. Facing the black light on Ulkiora's fingertips, he seemed to see his own death. If you get hit by this trick, you will definitely die. He thought of the information shared from the Kingdom of Thunder. Sero. These virtual exclusive abilities are just like Tailed Beast Bomb. Even a spot as Sero can compete with the Tailed Beast Bomb. And Ulkiora's Sero is even more powerful. Black Sero. Even Eight Tails Tailed Beast Bomb can't compete with Sero. Run. The third case cage's first reaction is to stay away from Ulkiora. But just as he was about to make a move, his body suddenly stiffened. Move. Can't move. It was as if he was locked by something, making him unable to move. Ulkiora looked indifferently and said, Black Sero. Buzz. Black flash bursts. Kai. Third case cage's chest was penetrated by Black Sero. And it hit the mountains in the distance with all its strength. Boom. Black Sero exploded instantly, and a huge mushroom cloud rose in the sky. Gudong. The ninja alliance's attention was instantly attracted. After the huge mushroom cloud dispersed, the entire mountain range that originally stood disappeared. It's as if it never appeared. If they hadn't seen the mountain range with their own eyes, they would probably think it was just a plane. This kind of power is too foul. The eyes of the ninjas were dull, and their anger was completely shattered by this black and sero. What kind of existence are they fighting against? Can they really influence this victory? From the anxiety when the ninja alliance was just established, to the confidence and enthusiasm when being mobilized by Serutobi Hiruzen, until now he recognizes the gap between himself and the enemy. It's impossible to win. One sentence emerged from their hearts. Everyone is desperate for this power. Uzumaki Mito, who was watching the battle silently, his eyes narrowed slightly. He finally understood why it was necessary to unite the power of the entire ninja world to fight against these hollows. This kind of power is probably no less powerful than the tailed beast bomb. Even when one tail was defeated by Tier Haribel, Uzumaki Mito didn't make too many waves. But Wukiora's black Sero really surprised her. Nine tails witnessed everything through Uzumaki Mito's eyes, and was secretly surprised. Where did these guys come from? He has never seen such a creature since he was born. If they appeared in the ninja world from the beginning, what happened to their tailed beasts? It's really strange. Nine Tails was lost in thought. These tailed beasts didn't exist in the ninja world since ancient times. But it was created by the old man from Six Paths. Perhaps, these creatures named Virtual are also created by some existence. But as far as he knew, there was probably no other person in the ninja world who could possess this ability except the old man from Six Paths. Could it be that they were also created by the old man from Six Paths? But, this is unreasonable. There is absolutely no way the old man from Six Paths could create such a creature with dangerous ideas for the ninja world. Wind, Lord K's Cage, someone exclaimed, causing their attention to shift to the battlefield where the first K's Cage and the third Hokage were riding Ulkiora. But as soon as they turned around, the situation on the field made their pupils shrink. Ela, even Feng Ying, cough. Third K's Cage coughed up a mouthful of blood, his hands trembled, his head lowered, and his eyes stared blankly at his chest. A hole filled with his own body came into view. No blood came out of the hole. Because all the blood was wiped out under the black Sero just now. Are you going to die? Third case cage was in a daze, his vision was blurred, and he could no longer feel the presence of his body. How could he fall down like this? He hasn't. Seeing the miserable appearance of third case cage, two scales Onoki felt an inexplicable sadness in his heart. The third ninja war had just begun, and one tail Shukaku had already died. Now it's third case cage again. On the other hand, the opponent's high-end combat power has not been lost. He smiled bitterly in his heart, who should be the next person? Shouldn't it be? It's his turn. Take a closer look at Ulkiora Black Sero's penetration of third case cage's Serutobi Hiruzen. There was a silent shock in his heart, and at the same time there was a deep sense of powerlessness. 
How can you defeat such a monster? Is there any way to defeat him? Sarutobi Hirazan was very panicked. Once third Case Cage died, wouldn't it be his turn next? Case Cage Sama, Shio exclaimed and subconsciously wanted to rescue third Case Cage. But he was pulled down by High Laoming. High Laoming shook his head and said, Sister, there is no point in going there now except to die. Shio was stunned. I also understood what High Laoming meant. With her strength, it is impossible to save the third Case Cage from Ulkiora. What's more, with Lord Case Cage in such a state, even if she could be rescued, she probably wouldn't be able to survive for long. B. That's the third case cage of their hidden sand village. Do they have to watch their case cage die like this? Soon, Chio's eyes became firm, that's our case cage. After saying these words, Chio rushed directly towards the third case cage. Hai Laoming opened his mouth, then gritted his teeth and followed. But at this moment, third case cage suddenly said, Don't come over. Although his vision was blurred, he could still vaguely see the figures of Chio and the others rushing over. He took a strong breath and drank them immediately. Chio and Ebiaki's movements suddenly stopped. Third case cage smiled freely, I am already dead, don't make unnecessary sacrifices for me, a dead person. Yes, he is dead. He knows his physical condition best. There is no difference between this appearance and death now. Master case cage, Chio opened his mouth, as if he wanted to say something. The third case cage suddenly said, I hereby declare that after my death, there will be the fourth case cage of the Rasa people. Chio and others' bodies suddenly shook. Master case cage, who understands them, is making his final explanation. As for Rasa becoming the fourth case cage, this was something they had already discussed, so there was no objection at all. But the current appearance of third case cage made them feel a little sad. Third case cage seemed to have thought about it, and there was no trace of the fear that was buried deep in Ulkiora's eyes anymore. He is already dying, so what is there to fear? Third case cage said solemnly, let me make my last contribution to the ninja world. Magnet style sand iron boundary method. Third case cage consumes all the chakra in the body. Endless sand and iron instantly enveloped Ulkiora. The sun above Ulkiora's head was blocked, and particles of sand and iron were densely flowing around it. It was like a barrier, shutting him inside. Third case cage looked pale and forced a smile. Under his gaze, indiscriminate attacks instantly launched within the sand iron barrier. Bang bang bang. The sand and iron in the sky are constantly changing shapes and launching endless attacks on Ulkiora. But every blow seemed to hit heavy steel. Ulkiora's tattoos didn't move, and she didn't even have a defense, allowing them to hit her body. Third case cage smiled miserably, with blood hanging from the corner of his mouth, and muttered, as expected, I still can't do anything. Plop. Third case cage fell straight to the ground, with no vital signs. Case cage Sama. The ninjas of Hidden Sand Village were devastated. The eyes looking at Ulkiora were also full of hatred. Ulkiora said a little strangely, Why are you doing unnecessary things when you are already going to die? Humans are strange creatures. Ulkiora turned around, looked at the sand shinobi who were immersed in grief, and said, You humans are only hurt because you have hearts. Shio glared at Ulkiora, but she also understood that even if she risked her life to help Lord Case Cage get revenge, she could not hurt Ulkiora at all. Ulkiora paid no attention to their emotions and set his sights on Sarutobi Hirazan. Human, it's your turn. This time, the ninja in Konoha looked worried. What should I do? Will Hokage-sama also want to? Jiraiya said worriedly, old man. He wanted to help, but the Arankar Legion had other subordinate officers besides Espada, making it impossible for him to get away. On the other hand, Orochimaru didn't feel worried at all. His vision had broken away from this ordinary world. Only the soul is the real eternity. If Mr. Sarutobi died in this war, his soul might still live on forever. Moreover, if he misses his teacher, he can also use reanimation jutsu to bring him up from the pure land world for a chat. Of course, if the teacher is not taken away by the kingdom of Whirlpool. Sarutobi Hirazan also felt nervous. He quickly brainstormed, trying to find Ulkiora's weaknesses from his memory. No, there is no weakness at all. His powerful physical strength makes it impossible for him to break through Ulkiora's defense. Neither physical attacks nor elemental attacks have any effect on Ulkiora. A sense of powerlessness arose spontaneously. He is clearly known as the strongest Hokage, Dr. Ninja, and Grandmaster with various escape techniques, but they have no effect against Ulkiora. Escape, water style, earth style, lightning style, wind style. All five escape techniques were used once, but Ulkiora simply clapped her hands and stamped her feet to easily crush his ninjutsu. What else does he have? After the last battle with the Kingdom of Whirlpool, the monkey demon was seriously injured and could not recover for a while. If it happens again, I'm afraid the ape demon will really die. The monkey demon summoning can't come out, and he can't use all his physical skills. What's more, even if summoning the ape demon come out, the Bajra Rui stick may not be able to break Ulkiora's defense. After all, even the strongest case cage's ape demon couldn't break through Ulkiora's defense. It is even more impossible for the Bajra Rui stick, which is better at defense than attack. He seems to be in dire straits. Sarutobi Hirazan glanced around. Everyone had their own opponents, and it was impossible to free their hands to help him. BAF. Master Mito took action in advance. But according to their strategy, they temporarily let the most powerful Nine Tails Jinchuriki observe the Espada's abilities and obtain their intelligence. 
This will create an information gap advantage for Ninetales Jinchuriki. Once Lord Mito takes action for him, Ninetales Jinchuriki loses its intelligence advantage. Sarutobi Hiruzen took a deep breath. Although he had grown older, his former ambition no longer existed. But in terms of big rights and wrongs, it is impossible to destroy 987, the last hope of the ninja world, because of his own reasons. Tay, if this war fails, Konoha will cease to exist. Even if he is alive, he will no longer be the admired and powerful third Hokage. What's the point of that? So this time, he only relies on himself. Sarutobi Hiruzen's eyes were deep, and when all methods failed, he thought of a forbidden technique obtained from the Kingdom of Whirlpool. Ghouls are banned. This is a person who signed a contract with the legendary Shinigami at the cost of his own soul, and was able to summon Shinigami to seal the enemy. This is a forbidden technique for dying together. But its effect is very powerful. When he saw this forbidden technique for the first time, he was shocked by this unreasonable effect. At the same time, I sighed in my heart about the powerful foundation of the Kingdom of Whirlpool. Moreover, the name Shinigami has become louder in today's ninja world. 57. The Kingdom of Whirlpool, Sarutobi Hiruzen took a deep breath. At this point, I am afraid that only this forbidden technique can have an effect on Ulkiora. Anyway, he can't escape death when facing Ulkiora, so why not use this move to die with Ulkiora and make his last contribution to the ninja world? It can also make his name, Sarutobi Hiruzen, forever engraved in the history of the ninja world. However, he still had to make one last struggle, so that he could completely defeat Ulkiora with his ninjutsu. He formed a seal with his hands. There were a few bangs, and five figures of Sarutobi Hiruzen appeared at the same time. Shadow clone technique. The remaining four clones quickly used the body flicker technique to surround Ulkiora. Then he formed seals at the same time and shouted, Five escape Dalian bullet technique. Call. Fire. Water and wind warriors. Five escape techniques attack Ulkiora at the same time. An aura of destruction envelopes Ulkiora. Hokage-sama. Come on. He soon they met such a person. The green Reiatsu soared into the sky, dispersing the smoke from the explosion, revealing Ulkiora's intact body. Boom. Call. When the ninjas of the Ninja Alliance saw Sarutobi Hiruzen, Kamui couldn't help but scream. Please. Die. Ulkiora. The terrifying impact made the other ninjas stagger. He is worthy of being the strongest ninja village's Hokage. This kind of power must be possible. Dot dot dot. All eyes are focused on Ulkiora, who is surrounded by the five escape grand continuous bullet technique. Their faces are full of anticipation and their eyes are full of hope. The ninjas suddenly froze on the spot. Sarutobi Hiruzen's eyes became completely determined. A devastating explosion surges from Ulkiora. How can anyone stop this terrifying ninjutsu? Seeing Konoha's third Hokage take action for the first time, they looked excited. Chapter 108 Are you worthy of being called Shinigami? Can't even this level of ninjutsu have any effect? The ninjas who witnessed everything were despairing. How powerful is a body that can survive such powerful ninjutsu without any harm? Not even a scratch on the skin. If their enemies are all this kind of guy, then what's the use of the ninjutsu they have learned for so long? Uzumaki Mito silently observed the fight between Sarutobi Hiruzen and Ulkiora. That super strong physique made her feel a little troublesome. He murmured softly. Can't even the little monkey's ninjutsu hurt him. She frowned slightly and asked Nine Tails in her heart. How about Nine Tails, are you sure? Although Nine Tails acknowledged Ulkiora's power in his heart, he said proudly on the surface. I am the strongest tailed beast in the ninja world. There is no enemy that I can't defeat. It subconsciously talks about Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama ignoring. Uzumaki Mito didn't debunk it either. After all, the power of Nine Tails will be needed later. Only then did Nine Tails react and said angrily, Why should I fight for you humans? Although Nine Tails said this, it also understood that it had no right to refuse. Because even if it doesn't help, the woman Uzumaki Mito can use her power to force its chakra away. She is simply a female robber. With the same virtue as Senju Hashirama, no wonder you two are husband and wife. There was a heavy atmosphere hanging over the battlefield. Everyone looked at Ulkiora with confusion in their eyes. Is there any way to defeat this monster? Even if he suffers a little skin injury, they can see hope. Yeah, all I have seen so far is despair. Unlike many ninjas, Sarutobi Hiruzen, who was standing in front of Ulkiora at this time, felt relaxed. After recognizing some facts, Sarutobi Hiruzen also let go of some things. Now that all methods have been used and proved to have no effect on Ulkiora. The only remaining method was to relieve Sarutobi Hiruzen's inner fear of death. There is no way out. Sarutobi Hiruzen looked around, almost everyone's eyes were on this. It seemed like there was a huge audience standing under the stage. And he and Ulkiora are like the protagonists on the stage, eye-catching. But this scene is indeed almost the same at this time. It's time to bring this gorgeous stage play to an end. And the name of this stage play is called the strongest Hokage's death calmly. His name, Sarutobi Hiruzen, will always remain on this stage in the human world and will always be remembered. The battle changes rapidly. Sarutobi Hiruzen's shadow clone saw that the five escape continuous bullet technique had no effect. They were connected with the main body's mind and swarmed towards Ulkiora without hesitation. Ulkiora's expressionless face waved the green light gun in her hand. After images streaked by green light, it was so fast that Sarutobi Hiruzen's shadow clone had no time to react and was torn apart instantly. A few bangs. It turned into white smoke and disappeared. 
Sarutobi Hirazan frowned, and the pain Shadow Clone suffered was transmitted back to his mind. Before he could relieve the sudden pain, Wukiora cast Kawasaki and suddenly appeared in front of him. The green light gun chopped down mercilessly from top to bottom. The ultimate speed carries the cold airflow. Before the green light gun even stood on him, Sarutobi Hirazan felt a tearing wind coming from above his head. The speed was so fast that all the ninjas paying attention to this battle did not react. They didn't even realize that third Hokage was at a disadvantage. Only Uzumaki Mito, blessed by Nine Tails, captured the action between Ulkiora and Sarutobi Hirazan with his good dynamic vision. Uzumaki Mito secretly said something bad. His face became serious, Ulkiora's attack was too fast and too sudden. As a result, Sarutobi Hirazan couldn't react at all. If he had withstood this blow, Sarutobi Hirazan would have been seriously injured even if he had not died. This is not good news for the Ninja Alliance. Especially not good news for Konoha. Now after Konoha's last war with the Uzumaki country, there is no one left that can be used. Even after Serutobi Hirazan resigned from 3rd Hokage, there was no better candidate for 4th Hokage for a while. I can only rely on Serutobi Hirazan to continue to hold on. If Serutobi Hirazan fails in this war, their strength will plummet again. What's more, Serutobi Hirazan is Toborama's disciple after all, and the 3rd Hokage chosen by Toborama himself. Even though Serutobi Hirazan did a lot of things that were sorry to the Senju and Uzumaki clan. He is also the Hokage of Konoha now. Uzumaki Mito must not just watch Serutobi Hirazan die like this. Just when she couldn't bear it anymore and was about to take action. But suddenly I found that Serutobi Hirazan's face was unusually calm. Even when facing the green light gun, there was no emotion in his eyes. There was even an imperceptible smile on the corner of his mouth. Little monkey, what do you want to do? Uzumaki Mito subconsciously stopped the rescue and looked at Serutobi Hirazan in a daze. Because she was afraid that her actions might affect some of Serutobi Hirazan's plans. I could only stop temporarily. At this time, on the ground beneath Ulkiora's feet, three of Serutobi Hirazan's shadow clones suddenly appeared. Earth-style heart beheading technique. The name flashed subconsciously in Uzumaki Mito's mind. Generally speaking, the mental decapitation technique is an ninjutsu in which the body dives underneath and pulls the enemy into the ground. But Serutobi Hirazan is worthy of the title of Dr. Ninja, he can not only combine the heart decapitation technique and shadow clone technique. You can even use three shadow clone techniques at the same time to perform the inner decapitation technique. This alone is enough to prove that his title of Dr. Ninja is not in vain. However, although Serutobi Hirazan's plan was successful, he misjudged Ulkiora's strength. Even though he had used three shadow clone carefully enough, he still couldn't drag Ulkiora underground. Seeing this, Serutobi Hirazan quickly adjusted his tactics. Two shadow clone hugged Ulkiora's legs, and another clan Ulkiora's arms. Serutobi Hirazan, who received a direct hit from Ulkiora's green light gun, suddenly turned into a puddle of dirt. It was the earth clone that had been prepared to attract Ulkiora but his body has already quietly moved away from Ulkiora. Serutobi Hirazan's eyes were deep, he took a deep breath, and started to form seals without hesitation. This seal, Uzumaki Mito sighed inwardly, there was a hint of surprise in his usually dull eyes, as if he didn't expect Serutobi Hirazan to use this forbidden technique. The corpses are sealed away. As a member of the Uzumaki clan, she certainly knows the effect of this forbidden technique. The look in Serutobi Hirazan's eyes was also full of disbelief. This forbidden technique is really strong. Able to summon Shinigami to seal the enemy's soul. Since Ulkiora's physical body is very powerful, then give up attacking his physical body, start from other directions, and attack his soul instead. Serutobi Hirazan's idea is very clever. The ghoul ban might really be able to defeat Ulkiora. But the price of this tree is the soul of the caster. Once the ghoul block is activated, Serutobi Hirazan will definitely die. When did the little monkey actually have this kind of awareness? While Uzumaki Mito was surprised, he also felt a sense of relief. After so many years, the little monkey finally has some responsibilities as a Konoha Hokage. It can be regarded as leaving some dignity to Toborama's original choice. But at this time, she hesitated. Serutobi Hirazan uses the ghoul ban. If she doesn't stop it, she will definitely die. Konoha is going to lose its own Hokage again. But it's obvious that Serutobi Hirazan also considered the consequences of using this technique. That proves that he has thought of everything. If she stopped it now, wouldn't it be? Finally, I have a bit of a shinobu look, so let him go. It can be regarded as giving Konoha's Hokage the last bit of dignity. Nine Tails' voice sounded in Uzumaki Mito's heart. For Serutobi Hirazan, the third Hokage, Nine Tails is scornful. Konoha's first Hokage was so powerful that he even hung him up and beat him. It directly elevates the position of Hokage in his heart. So in comparison, Nine Tails looks down upon Serutobi Hirazan. However, at this moment, being able to make this kind of determination still made him look at Serutobi Hirazan with admiration. Well, a little, but not much. Uzumaki Mito sighed silently, choosing to respect the decision of Serutobi Hirazan, their Konoha Hokage. Little monkey. Let the glory of Konoha Hokage be shown to the ninja world again. Ghoul banned. As if hearing Uzumaki Mito's voice, Serutobi Hirazan shouted. A misty aura gathered from behind Serutobi Hirazan, gradually forming a tall shadow. The phantom is wearing a white coat and has purple-green skin, and does not look like a human being. 
He had long white hair with two red ghost horns. He held a short blade in his mouth and stared at Lukiora with fiery eyes, as if he was looking at a delicious dish. In front of it, Sarutobi Hiruzen's soul was hung high, as if waiting for its judgment. What's this? The ninja didn't see the terrifying shadow behind third Hokage and couldn't help but scream. Orochimaru lowered his eyelids and murmured, Seal all the corpses. He had also seen this forbidden technique while reading a copy of the sealed book. I am also very aware of the cost of using this. Once you use this technique, teacher, you will have no room for maneuver. Orochimaru looked at Sarutobi Hiruzen with firm eyes, and suddenly felt something in his heart. The aging body seemed to have regained its former youth. I especially remember the teacher's majestic appearance when he was young, and how he boasted about the reasons for becoming the third Hokage. Sarutobi Hiruzen, who was known as Shinobi at that time, gradually became a decayed old man as he grew older and lost his ambition. Unexpectedly, he could still see the teacher's original appearance. There is no turning back when the bow is drawn. Today, Sarutobi Hiruzen can no longer feel everything around him. He only has eyes for Ukiora. It was thick and blue-purple, covered with dense black lines, and the huge claws with a string of beads on it penetrated his soul and grabbed directly towards Ukiora. Sarutobi Hiruzen was breathing heavily, sweat dripping from his forehead, but he still smiled and panted, it's over. Giant claws dug into Ukiora's body. Sarutobi Hiruzen smiled and said, in exchange for the effect of this sealing technique, you must give your soul to Shinigami. A ninjutsu that costs life. When the seal ends, my soul will also be devoured. And your soul will be swallowed into Shinigami's belly together with mine and never ascend to heaven. Yi. The effect of the corpse ban immediately caused an uproar among the ninja army, and their hearts were shaken. Only then did I realize that Mr. Hokage, who was stuck in the leaf, actually wanted to die with that monster at the cost of his own life. Is this the courage of Hokage? Lord Hokage. The ninjas of Konoha looked at Sarutobi Hiruzen blankly, feeling a sense of sadness in their hearts. The resentment accumulated during the invasion of the Kingdom of Whirlpool has long since disappeared, replaced by high admiration for the Hokage master. The integrity of Konoha Hokage has never faded. They clenched their fists and had tears in their eyes. When the Kingdom of Whirlpool invaded, the impression Sarutobi Hiruzen left on them was instantly reversed. This is their Hokage-sama of Konoha. This is their Hokage-sama of Konoha. Onoki's eyes were full of complexity. He never expected that Sarutobi Hiruzen would be so courageous. I also admire Sarutobi Hiruzen in my heart. Do you want to gain some advantage for the alliance of benevolent forces even if you sacrifice your own life? Sarutobi Hiruzen, I have really misjudged you after all these years. The Hokage of Konoha is still the energetic Hokage, Dino Jiao. Teacher, Jiraiya looked at Sarutobi Hiruzen in silence, feeling sad in his heart. However, this is their fate as ninjas. They were ready to sacrifice on the first day they became Hokage. Even the Hokage is no exception. Although Jiraiya felt deeply sorry for Sarutobi Hiruzen, there was no reason to stop their Hokage-sama from dying generously. His teacher, the Hokage of Konoha, gave his life for the peace of the ninja world. Jiraiya's eyes turned red, and he gritted his teeth and said, Teacher, everything you do for the ninja world will be deeply engraved in people's hearts. The corpses are sealed away. What's going on? Haven't you taken action yet? But it was as if there was another hand inside Ukiora wrestling with it. Suddenly, in Sarutobi Hiruzen's horrified eyes, but only the caster Sarutobi Hiruzen understands Shinigami's current predicament. Sarutobi Hiruzen used all his strength and roared. The long tongue covered in saliva licked the corners of his mouth, and the other huge purple claw that was inserted into Ukiora slowly twitched outwards. Dot dot dot. The giant blue purple claw inside Ukiora's body twitched outward with force. What exactly is going on? When the ninjas of the Ninja Alliance saw this scene, they couldn't help but wonder. No matter how hard it tried, it could not twitch Ukiora's soul even a little bit. Go ahead and do it. Are you worthy of being called Shinigami B? The soul can't be drawn out. Ukiora made a snap and placed his long black claws on Shinigami's thick purple arms. As if feeling Sarutobi Hiruzen's emotions, the tall Mano's grande figure behind him raised his huge violet claws and slowly took out the short blade in his mouth. Suddenly, a touch of human doubt appeared on the ghost-like face of Mano's grande, the tall shadow behind Sarutobi Hiruzen. 